Bruce Smith holds the record for most sacks in a single career at 200, and I'm going to try and break that today. Now, I could just break it by one or two, but that's boring. I'm going to try and 5x this record and get 1,000 sacks in a single career, and the player that I will break this record with today will be Deacon Jones. And I just decided to choose him because he's one of my favorite defensive linemen of all time, mainly because the way he used to get sacks was by slapping the offensive linemen in the side of the head so they would close their eyes and then they could get past him. And that makes him awesome. And I tried to recreate him the best I could, but this character creator is god-awful. So I did the best with what I had. And this is Deacon Jones Day. He's 99 and everything. And like I said, I just want this to be a little fun, easy video trying to get a thousand sacks in a single career. So the game's on Rookie Arcade, 15 minute quarters, and we're gonna play the first game. But after that, just sim, kind of maybe watch a few Super Bowls, see how dominant he really is, but I'm going to get a thousand sacks in his career, if even if it kills me. Come here, Gino. Let's go, his first career sack on the first defensive play. I mean, that's kind of expected, but 999 more sacks to go. Oh god, this will take a long time. Oh my god. I guess that's how you take Deacon out of the play, just push him 500 yards away. Not even a double team can stop Deacon, there you go, first forced fumble of his career too. No, Gino, stop it. Quit it. Okay. What? Who punched that out? Whatever. I'll just let the offense do the scoring and their thing. Deacon can do it all himself, clearly. Which he might have not forced that fumble. I'm not actually sure who got credit for that. Yeah, don't put a tight end on Deacon. That's not going to work. Oh, poor Kenneth Walker. He's negative 10 rushing yards. Looking like Miles Sanders out there. They have zero rushing yards. Wow. Oh, uh, Deacon, get to him. My god, Deacon's fast. Wow, what a game. 7-3. to three. Good job, Carolina. Okay, he just put Deacon on his ass. What happened? Oh, oh, oh dear god. He's dead. Deacon just murdered a man. Can I bait him? Oh, please, let's go! Let's go, Deacon Jones. User pick six. Let's go. I'm so happy right now that I actually got a pick six with Deacon. Come on, please give me the safety. Please. Please. Give me safety. Give, give me. What does that count as? <laughs> get another sack. Let's go. And force fumble. Kenneth Walker, get off me. Wow, what a final play. <laughs> what an amazing final play there. Alright, so Deacon Jones had a hell of a debut, I'd say. 12 total tackles, 9 TFLs, 4.5 sacks, 1 interception, which ended up being a pick 6, 5 forced fumbles, and his teammate that robbed him of a safety. But a pretty good debut. I know I was helping him out, but I want to see how the AI does with them, and I'm now just going to sim the season. And I will see you most likely at the Super Bowl. T they only went 10-7, and 7, really? I mean, 10 and seven is pretty good, but they're playing the Niners in the wild card. They lost 31 to eight against San Fran last week. Well, I think they just said the Cardinals went like two and eleven or no, two and eleven. What's wrong with me? They only had two wins. Yep, two and fifteen for the. How? The Cardinals and the C. Why did Dallas go sixteen and one? Uh, the Raiders went thirteen and four. What? The Colts went one and sixteen. What the hell is wrong with this league? I'm gonna say the, the Vikings made the playoffs at 7-10. That is the worst record I've ever seen make the playoffs. How awful was that division? Oh, it was terrible, I see. Wait, they won a tiebreaker. What? Because they... I don't think I've ever seen the AI with a tiebreaker before. No, I'm checking that first. I, wanna see, I, I just need to see what this team did. They lost one game on the year. What? Dak throwing for 4,500 yards, 44 touchdowns, and 11 picks. All right. And then Pollard's a 1,200-yard rusher, 12 touchdowns. Michael Gallup had 17 touchdowns? What is wrong with this game? Oh, my... What? Parsons had 26 sacks, and Demarcus Lawrence had 22 and a half? I've never seen... I've never seen this, of where a team has two players with over 20 sacks. I'm pretty sure Demarcus Lawrence tied the record 22 and a half, or broke it at 22 and a half. 
And then Parsons broke it with 26. All right. I know I said it on arcade, but damn. Deacon Jones finished up his rookie season, 105 tackles, 29 TFLs, 36 and a half sacks. One interception, which was the one that I, I, oh my God, I cannot speak. The one that I ended up getting, uh, six forced fumbles, only one fumble recovery. He blocked a kick, no safety, two defensive touchdowns. I mean, this is wild. He broke the record by four. Deacon <laughs> broke the record by 14. Time for the first playoff game against San Francisco. I hope to God we do not meet Dallas because our offense will not survive. I'm just going to advance it and hope we win. Oh, we did 24-14. If we don't play Dallas, that's just amazing because that means they choked and that would be hilarious. Oh God, I'm going to eat those words, aren't I? We beat Minnesota 28-22, but we have Micah Parsons staring us down now. I think I'm just going to skip it as well because we've got this. We can easily beat 16-1 Dallas. They always choke. They're just going to choke again. See, it's easy. Look at that. All right, we lost by 21. Well, I hate those words extremely quickly. Wow, what a Super Bowl. Dak Prescott's Super Bowl MVP, only in Madden. But Deacon does end up winning MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, and Defensive Rookie of the Year. And he's the first uh, defensive player to win the award since, what, Lawrence Taylor in 86, 84, whenever he last won it? Well, that was a disappointing first season, but I mean, what can you expect when you run up against the 16-1 Dallas Cowboys, which is a sentence I never thought I would say and hope I never have to say ever again. But hopefully we don't run into another almost perfect season Cowboys and actually win the Super Bowl this year. This is kind of an interesting side plot. I wonder how many sacks Micah Parsons is going to end with. Because the top two is most likely going to be him and Deacon Jones after seeing the season results last year. We missed the playoffs at 6-11. and 11. What? <laughs> Excuse me, guys. They went 14-3. Okay, this team is... I created a monster. That His name is Micah Parsons. Wait, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me they lost the first three games of the season and then proceeded to win the next 14 games? They started out 0-3 and, and won the next 14. Alright, the, the Cowboys are on something. The Cowboys are actually on crack. I don't... Wow, a major downgrade at only 17 and a half sacks this season. Same with D-Law at only 10 and a half. Deacon Jones ended his second season with 94 total tackles, 17 TFLs, 32 and a half sacks, no interceptions, only one forced fumble, and he recovered that fumble, didn't block a kick, get a safety, or a defensive touchdown this season. Deacon finished sixth this time in the MVP race. That's Sam Darnold. I don't know if I'm seeing things, but that says Sam Darnold right there. They don't repeat, do they? There's no way they repeat. They actually don't, since he beat them by three. Wow. Joe Burrow is the Dak Prescott stopper. Then Deacon wins his second Defensive Player of the Year. He's most likely going to win all of them, so... At least I hope he does. I also put him on a seven-year deal. I don't know. I just kind of forgot about that until now, but... He's here and for the next five years, and if he wants to leave, I'll probably just trade for him back. I'm just going to keep him a Ram for life. Wait, who's our quarterback? I guess no Stafford? Okay, Dalton Ro Oh, this team is going to suck. No, never mind. Never mind. I'm being too harsh on Dalton Rodgers. He's going to lead us to the promised land. The first Ram Super Bowl in, like, five years now. Oh my god, 6-11 and 11 again. Okay. Well. On second thought, I may let Deacon just leave. Because this is terrible. We made the NFC Championship our first year, and now we're 6-11 and back-to-back -back seasons? Alright, this time KC went 16-1. and What the hell happened to Dallas? 11-6, and I guess, huh? Well, KC won the last 11 games, alright. Any 0-16 teams? No, just 3-14. This is a yearly tradition of checking how good Micah Parsons was. His unintended rival... 18 and a half. Light work. Oh my god, Demarcus Lawrence at 17. Deacon did decline a little bit in his third season. 115 tackles, 29 TFLs. Only 29 sacks. Well, I mean, only. Again, zero picks. One forced fumble. He didn't recover it. No safeties, blocked kicks, or defensive touchdowns. The Falcons and Chiefs? What happened? <laughs> Alright, Dallas choked as usual, I guess. Oh god, well, at least we didn't go 6-11. and 11. We went 3-14. and 14. 
mm, what happened to this team? Oh, since he went 16 and 1. Does there just have to be a team that goes 16 and 1 every year? It was Dallas, then Kansas City, and now Cincinnati. Oh, we weren't the worst team in the league. We were tied for the worst team in the league. We lost the last six games of the season. Oh, no. What is What happened? This was a playoff team a few years ago. 20 sacks. Light season for Micah Parsons. Didn't even break the like the actual sack record of 22. And it looks like Demarcus Lawrence is gone. So it's all up to him to get the sacks, I guess. Person missing here. There is no um, Aaron Donald. He left us. Deacon, 109 tackles. 25 TFLs. 36 sacks. I think it's a new career high or where he tied it his rookie year. Again, no picks. Three forced fumbles. He recovered a fumble this year, actually. No blocked kicks, safeties, or defensive touchdowns yet again. The sixth seeded San Francisco 49ers beat the 16 and 1 Bengals in the Super Bowl. Brock Purdy, Super Bowl MVP. Yeah, Deacon wins another Defensive Player of the Year. No one's surprised. After this season, I'm going to check the all time sack record because I want to see how far Deacon is up there. I think you need 100 to be up there, Might, maybe 110, and he should be very close to that, especially after the season, he should have it, because he's had 30 sacks every year, I think, one he had 29, but he should be close to top 10 anyway, see how good of progress we're making. I mean, there's no way they finish with a worse record than last season, it's, I mean, it is possible, but it shouldn't be possible. There's no way they only win one or two games. I swear to God, if it finishes simulating and I see 0-17, I might just quit. I mean, if they don't win a single game, like, what the hell? Might actually put Deacon at quarterback in that case. Oh, God. They improved to 4-13. and He might need to leave. They lost 49-6 to to the Cardinals. Yeah, this team, this team needs to just fold. Just fold, leave the NFL. Yeah, Cowboys 14 and 3, nothing new. Rams worst team in the league. Awesome. Not a seven game losing streak too. Yeah, Micah Parsons, 23 sacks. Only 26 for Deacon. I'm gonna be honest, Deacon, we're gonna have to start averaging 30 every year just so we can get this done in as few a seasons as possible. 106 tackles, 29 TFLs, 26 sacks, no picks yet again. <laughs> One forced fumble, which he actually recovered. No kicks, safeties, but he actually had a defensive touchdown. Assuming that was just a fumble recovery, because he had nothing else that would have led to one. I was right he would be up here, just didn't think he would be top four already. I mean, I know he was averaging 30 sacks a season, but still. What? Wait, Aaron Donald went to the Bears and he's up here? Wait, Parsons is not on here? How? I mean, I know he's like five years in the league by now, because of how far we soon, but... He really should be up here. Okay, yeah, he's just outside of it. he's 131. He's been in the league for six years. Purdy has won back-to-back -back Super Bowls, but Brandon Ayuk won Super Bowl MVP that time. I'm just going to quit acknowledging that Deacon won Defensive Player of the Year. We can just assume, right? Seven wins in two seasons. This is just an insult to anybody. Deacon has to resent the Rams at this point, man. He can't do any more. He's broke the sack record every single year he's played in the league. Obviously, former record because he said it himself at 36. I'm like, damn, man, they can't do anything. I guess I'm getting my wish. They are improving every year. Just incredibly slowly. 5 and 12 this year. Oh, my. Yeah, 15 and 2 Chiefs. Hey, they weren't the worst team in the league. Pretty close. But not the worst. Damn, Parsons kind of fallen off. Only 19 sacks this season. Deacon uh, finishing his fifth year. Because they missed the playoffs again. 106 tackles. 27 TFLs. That seems alarmingly low. 37 sacks. No picks. No fumble. Or two forced fumbles, actually. Two fumble recoveries for two yards. No blocked kicks. He did get a safety, though. I think this is his first of his career. No defensive touchdowns. And he played in 15 games. Wait, he actually got injured for two games? Really? Damn, that kind of sucks. Now, did he win MVP or was it Mahomes? Never mind, it was Hurts. He was fifth. What did Jalen Hurts do? I'm assuming Tush pushing his way to the end zone a hundred times. Nah, it's gotta be rushing-wise. 
Uh, yep. <laughs> 11 rushing touchdowns, I guarantee you every single one of those were tush pushes into the end zone. What a game this was, 10 to 9. I would be pissed if I paid money to have to sit there and watch that game. 10 to 9? That's between Carolina and Arizona, too. That's an insult to football, a wild card game being 10 to 9. You know, to be honest, he kind of got snubbed out of the MVP. I would so much rather have the MVP go to a guy who had 37 sacks, not a quarterback who had 11 one yard rushing touchdowns. Oh my god, how? Oh, I dropped my chair. Oh god. Well, I don't know what's scarier the fact that I just dropped my chair and almost fell out of it, or that we are 3 and 14 yet again. Back to form, 23 sacks this year. Deacon Jones finishing his sixth year at 109 tackles, 22 TFLs, 30 and a half sacks. No one else re even remotely close. No picks. One forced fumble, he did not recover it. Didn't get a blocked kick, a safety, or a touchdown. He had the longest run of 11 yards. He's probably riding Jason Kelsey. Yeah, I don't know what more to add at this point. Deacon wins his, like, sixth consecutive defensive player of the year. We suck, clearly. Three wins. We are only able to... Yeah, muster is the right word. I was going to say grasp, but the... whatever. We only got three wins. I just feel bad for Deacon, because even if he wants to leave, I'm just going to bring him back, because he's going to be a ram for life, so he has to sit here and suffer through these, like, four-win seasons. That must suck. To be, be the greatest defensive player of all time and be held back by this god-awful team it must be horrible. Wait, I think I have everything on manual, don't I? Not auto? Well, that might be why we suck. <laughs> because I've not done anything, and since I have it on manual, the AI is not doing anything. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change that next season. I think I may have found out our solution to why we suck balls. And it might be my fault. Oh no, we went 1-16. and Oh god. How? How do you regress from three wins? How do you do that? That's genuinely impressive. The Giants only had two wins? What the hell happened? What? What is wrong with this team? We didn't... We had one home win. Who? Who did we beat? Well, we only lost by three, by six. Yep, that's not a good one. Or is that? We beat the Giants by three. The other team, the other worst team in the league that had two wins. <laughs> they were our only win. Oh, no. We got shut out. Only lost by three. Destroyed. Only lost by four and then only scored five points. I'm gonna take a my bad on that one. To why we lost Aaron Donald and suck. My bad. Hopefully we can turn it around. I ruined a franchise. <laughs> this was a well-respected franchise that I single-handedly ruined. Well, maybe this guy ruined it too. Only 13 touchdowns to 26 picks? Okay, I'll take 50% of the blame. Nah, there, there's no way. They had 7 rushing touchdowns on the year. Okay, I'm taking half the blame. Half of the blame's on this team for sucking, and the other half is for me. I'll, I will 100% take the blame on that, for not allowing them to, like, sign new players or <laughs> keep the players in free agency. I'll take the blame there, but they need to take the blame for on the field, because they suck. What the oh, God, I thought I was... I'm so stupid. I thought I was looking at sacks, and I thought this guy had 66 sacks. Yeah, don't ask uh, where the point two comes into the sacks. I was not paying attention to that. Eh, yeah, 17 and a half for Parsons. I see him down there. Oh. He's gone. <laughs> I thought he had one more year left. He's a Packer. Okay, I'm brain dead and thought he had one more year on his contract. He didn't. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm just stupid, but he's a Packer. He's going to be coming back here now. And I fixed everything, and hopefully this team. He only had 98 tackles, 15 TFLs. 36 and a half sacks, uh, no interceptions again, one forced fumble, which he did recover, two safeties? Th that's interesting, and no defensive touchdowns. Wait, that's Joe Burrow's third. Joe Burrow has now won three rings. Now, I'm, I hope to God I do not jinx him here, but there's physically no way they can do worse than 1-16. Yes, I know they can go 0-17, but... It's honestly an accomplishment if they do. It's impressive to not win a single game. Hell, it's impressive to only win one game, too. 
Oh, they made the playoffs. I guess see what a team does when I don't sabotage them by making them not be able to do anything. The first time we've made it to the playoffs in seven seven years. Yeah, Parsons at 18 and a half. Finishing, well, this is his ninth year in the league, but they're in the playoffs, so his season technically isn't over yet. 108 tackles, 24 TFLs, 34 and a half sacks. He's never going to get another interception. I'm just going, going to have to accept that. Uh, three forced fumbles. He recovered one of them. No blocked field goal, safeties, or defensive touchdowns, and he missed three games. All right. For the first time in, what, seven years, I can say we made the wild card around? All right, let's go week by week. Come on, please. All right, we're facing... We only won by three. Let's give you the weekly awards. Deacon had four sacks. Let's go. The Parsons matchup, his... I guess I can say it's his rival at this point, because I've been looking at him, like, every season. He's the only guy that'll compete with him. We won 24 to 6, all right. Deacon had seven sacks that game. Well, he tied on um, Derek Thomas's record. Damn, probably should have watched that game. I'm kind of regretting that now. I'm actually kind of sad. All right, San Fran, division rivals, same record. Let's see. Come on, please. Let's go there in the Super Bowl. Oh, God, finally. It's against the Tennessee Titans. All right, the Rams' first Super Bowl in, uh, I don't know, a decade at this point. I think it's actually 10 years, right? Because the Super Bowl is 2021. The 12-5 Titans and the 10-4... and four... Wow, I am blind. The 10-7 and seven Rams. All right, here we go. Oh, damn, he's taking it out of the, out of the end zone. He's going to pull a Devin Hester and return it for six. He actually is. Oh, my God. All right, what a way to kick off a Super Bowl, huh? Of number 34 taking it to the house. I said that jokingly. Jamarcus Vincent. Damn, dude. He won Super Bowl MVP. I said that as a joke with a Devin Hester thing, but I was quickly proven wrong. And Deacon getting through for the first sack of the... All right. Okay, Dwight, whatever that dude's name was. Yeah, Dwight O'Neal, I think it was. Just shedding off Deacon Jones. All right. It won't be that easy, clearly. The Titans won like 12 or 13 games for a reason, huh? Have they ran the ball once this opening drive? I don't think they have. Oh, Deacon unblocked. And it's a touchdown because he couldn't get there quick enough. Oh, he's taking it out. Will he go two for two? No, he, yeah, he ran out of field and he fumbled. And they recovered it. Okay, he was out of bounds. That was... Interesting, I thought he got it, but he was had his foot out of bounds, I guess. And he's going past? Is it going to 17? No, it's going to the end zone. All right, what a moss by, um... Can you please turn around, number 10? Please? Please? Harper. L. Harper with an amazing grab. That would have been awesome if he could have just reached an inch closer and went over the end zone, but he made that acrobatic catch. That's where they got Matt Stafford, but again. Just AI generated this time. All right, two runs in a row. He almost got stuffed there, but he gets in, barely. Bryce Hutchins carrying the offense that play. If that kicker turn doesn't happen, I still think this is a 7-7 game. Oh, Deacon! He got a hit on the quarterback, at least. Okay, bring down Derrick Henry Jr. there. This is a pass-first offense, damn. Come on, Deacon, you can't get boxed up. All right, that's why it's a pass-first offense, because that's going to the house, 75 yards. All right, I'm just going to stop talking. Oh, they have... Offensive lineman injury, maybe? I'm just gonna stop talking. Royce O'Neal, not Royce O'Neal. <laughs> What's his name? Dwight O'Neal? I, I will know his name by the end of this game, I can tell you that much. Fowler's four for four for 50 yards. Oh my god, the pencil man, number nine there. What the hell? I love how you get the true bad experience. No matter if you're playing on next gen or whatever, the pencil people still prevail on the sidelines. Oh my god, going- Oh, that was a touchdown, the pressure just got to him. This is a run and a half. Or it's one of those god-awful pass plays. Okay, it's one of the god-awful pass plays. Alright, never mind. Alright, Adam O'Neal. What is with the O'Neals? Do we have a third one here? I guess these two quarterbacks really know how to shut me up, don't they? <laughs> I start talking crap on both of them, and then they do that. I think both times I've done that has resulted in a touchdown. So I need to learn just to shut up. Uh, of hello? Is anyone there? 
Why is no one there? Number 30 eventually gets him. They called five wide on third. Oh, they're going for it on fourth and one. I mean, they don't really have Taylor. Only down a touchdown, but interesting call here. And they get it because <laughs> on fourth and one, they just run up the middle and get to the one yard line. Well, they forcing him out of the pocket. And he has his third first half touchdown. What? They got him to finally roll out and then he just... He just delivers a dot to a guy. Well, I guess he wasn't double covered. He had two rams on his back that I don't even think knew he was there. Oh my god, he just tackled that running back on the block. And that's good. 82 touchdown. I really uh, Avery, Cortez Avery. Touchdown. No, Neil dropping back. Deacon getting close. And he's just uncovered. Number 80 is just open and he's gone. No way. No, 22's got to get him. 22's got to get him. He brought him down. This is not what I expected to see from this defense. Deacon got through, but that's four passing touchdowns for Dwight O'Neal. I don't even know if his name's Dwight. I just think it is. O'Neal's fourth touchdown of the first half. Okay, three straight runs, but I mean, he's proven why he deserves the runs, and he's gone. Number 17, 24, or Hutchins. I need to learn their names. Hutchins, uh, what was that, 24-yard rushing touchdown? 27-yard rushing touchdown? That entire drive was Hutchins right there. So this is Hutchins versus O'Neal. This is what this game looks like it's going to ultimately boil down to. Deacon, do something, man. Oh, Deacon, I thought he was going to run up the middle. That's his fifth touchdown of the game. Fifth touchdown of the half, even. Dalton Casey's just too good. Dalton Casey is too good, man. I wish this game had playoff records that I could sort by, because I want to see how the AI has done in the Super Bowls, like Joe Burrow and all that. Because he stiff arms number 18. Falconer dropping back to pass, he has the step, and he actually caught it, wow. That was Hutchins again? This whole offense is Hutchins, bro. This whole offense is Hutchins. Well, I mean, when you go up and moss a superstar safety like that, you deserve to be the whole offense. Yeah, Hutchins, he's the GOAT. He deserves everything. Pay the man. And he got in there, wow. This is, is that his third rushing touchdown of the half as well? Oh, God. <laughs> Number six, give it up for his sixth touchdown of the first half, with three minutes left to go. There's been no defense this game. It's a point proven. No, no way, Hutchinson. Or Hutchins, he got caught, yeah. Yeah, Hutchins the goat. Hutchins is the goat. Broke like two, three tackles and just kept going. If he didn't run low on stamina, he's gone. He's taking that to the house, 75 yards. What was going on there? Wait, that wasn't Hitchens. Who was that? Oh, Rashawn Barber. I'm pretty sure Deacon's on Mackay Becton, just because Mackay Becton is huge. Okay, he's just wide open, and he's gone for a touchdown. What the hell, team? He's just open! Brian Paul. He's just gone. What is that, number seven, I believe, for him? This dude... We've, we're watching the greatest quarterback of all time and the greatest running back of all time. O'Neal is the greatest quarterback I've ever seen, and Hutchins is... or Hitchens. Hitchens is the greatest running back I've ever seen. Now, are they actually going to call Hail Mary or just, like, an inside run and just waste the two seconds doing absolutely nothing? They're going to the end zone. Hail Mary, they know they need to try and score before half. Faulkner throwing it deep doesn't even make it to the end zone. Actually, does... and they get a P.I. call. Wow. The P.I. call on the Hail Mary right before half to set up the field goal. This is like a best case scenario for the Rams. Yep, and they take the field goal. The Rams are going to go up 52-49 to at halftime in the Super Bowl. Oh god, O'Neal's got the ball and he's going deep. And number 80 just lost 22. Oh no. And he's... <laughs> Why is he open again? Number 87, he juked him out! And he gets down to the one. What is wrong with this defense? I think that is the, what, 10th time I've seen Paul open? He, he's just, he's in their heads. He's living in their heads. They finally did not let O'Neal get a passing touchdown. Faulkner. And he's just open again. It's just like watching the Rams on defense. He's just open. Okay, number 81, or 83 there. Hold on, whoever that wide receiver is, yeah, Kenny, he is slow as hell. This is the slowest man I've ever seen in my life. I mean, he's gotten a couple of clutch receptions, but God, he's slow. 
I think his knee was down, but all right, give it to Hutchins. His fourth or fifth? Not entirely sure. Okay, they're just not even going to bother reviewing it, but... All right. Rams take the lead, 59-56. Oh, O'Neal threw a terrible pass, but it still worked. It's Paul. I, I think I'm trading for Paul and O'Neal after the season. I, I think I might do it. I, was, I mean, it was a good pass where it can be picked off, but it was behind him, but Paul is so good. Look at that, Paul reaching down behind him for that and then stretching across the goal line. Yeah, he's he's insane. Both of them are. I don't know if I'm just dyslexic or what. Okay, 89's just wide open. Oh, it's Fowler. Holy hell, I'm dyslexic. I was calling him Faulkner. His name's Fowler. <laughs> I just realized that we're in the third quarter. Oh my god. It's Fowler. I don't even know where I got Faulkner from. I guess I have massive dyslexia. What? What, what happened there? I'm not even sure what happened. I mean, I've, I watched him catch an open touchdown and just throw the ball immediately. He... That's a touchdown. He had possession, both feet down, but he drops it immediately once he steps out of bounds. What's the call here? Touchdown. All right. <laughs> I guess the ref didn't want to give it to us, but interesting sequence there. I finally learned the quarterback's name, and then he throws a pretty damn good cross-body touchdown. All right, they're going for it on fourth and inches. And it's a great decision. It's a pass. O'Neal, he's wide open. It's 87 again. The Rams' defense has a chronic condition just to not cover Paul. We're just watching dominance displayed by Dwight O'Neal. Whoever would have thought this is the greatest quarterback of all time. Don't tell me he's throwing a touchdown pass. Okay, he didn't, but he threw a pass to the three-yard line. Oh, 22, just... Alright, he's in. Luke Shepard, I believe his name is? Yeah, I don't know how I remember his name, but I'm so illiterate, I can't read Fowler. But Shepard is second, third touchdown of the game. Rams down by four. Yeah, four. What happened to my voice? Rams are down four now. 70 to 66. All right, Fowler. Oh, number 82, he's gone. Number 23 doesn't have the angle. He, he's just gone. Actually, yeah, he doesn't. All right. Fowler, I'm actually going to pronounce his name right. Cortez Avery taking that to the house. Hey, Luke Shepard, he just walks in untouched. I know he got touched at the end, but essentially untouched into the end zone. Okay, Fowler taking off. What, what the hell was that? Wait, that was third down. That was third and one? He didn't take off? What? He could have just walked. He could have just... Oh my god, the Titans might have just won the game. The Titans might have just won the game. The Rams are punting. Oh my god. That was third and one. He literally could have just pushed, like, stuck his arm out and then just fell on the ground. And that would have been good enough for the first down. That was third and one. He had the first down. No one was in front of him. But he threw an awful pass off his back foot. And that might have sealed the Rams' fate. Now, O'Neal definitely took the over on receptions. There's no way. Both these guys did. Fowler and uh, O'Neal took the overs on completions and receptions. And Luke, I was going to call him Luke Kennedy, Luke Shepard, again. I think that's like his fifth or sixth as well. He must have like garbage abilities if he's like only his 10 receptions. All right. Hutchins, proving me wrong. Before that play, I was going to say, I think this is a pass, but uh, nope. I think that's his first touchdown since the second half started. We might have one in the third, but it's been a while. I could just be crazy, one of two. And they get it, because they actually throw to Harper. Down three now. I mean, all they need is a field goal. I kind of want to see this game go to Deacon! And he hit him, forcing his third incompletion of the game, Deacon Jones. I think also his third quarterback hit of the game. But that's like Deacon's first time he's actually influenced something. Actually forcing the legendary Dwight O'Neal to throw his third incompletion of the game. Trying to make it his fourth. Look at that D-end. Number 96. He actually got brought down. Dobbins... Some dude named L. Dobbins just sacked... I almost got him Bryce O'Neal. Some Dwight O'Neal just got sacked, and the Rams forced a punt. They're going passing again. Kind of surprising. Taking a shot, and he's wide open. There's 89? 
I, we'll never know. Can we show the guy that scored, please? Oh yeah, it was number 89. Awesome. To number 89, I think, is Kenny? Could be wrong. I most likely am wrong, but... Rams take the lead. 88-84. Deacon kind of pile-driving him back, and then... I don't, I don't know what the hell that linebacker was doing. He just watched O'Neal run right to him and just stood there. Man was dedicated to that zone, I guess. Come on, Deacon, get a sack. Oh, a drop for a forced incompletion. O'Neal now has four incomplete passes. It's third and five. I mean, I think they're going to get it here, to be honest. I mean, that forced incompletion was major. Was major. I'm going to say it's huge. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because Tony's wide open. Quick pass to number 80. Who gets it? I think it's Casey, right? Or Avery? No, Casey. Avery's on our team. I'm so bad with, like, these auto-generated guys. A Deacon getting through. Deacon, his first sack of the game. Comes at a huge time. Second and 18, 38 seconds left. Forcing Titans to burn their second timeout. Tennessee only has one timeout left. Ooh, quick pass to Casey again. Which I'm pretty sure is, like, his almost 20th pass. Saving that timeout, pretty interesting. This might come down to the final play. It's third and four. Deacon is getting destroyed. Looks like he's... O'Neal's all the time in the pocket and he throws an incomplete. Fourth down, fourth and four. Game on the line right here, wow. I mean, literal game on the line. 11 seconds left, one timeout. Tennessee can get maybe one or two more plays off max if they get this. But if Deacon gets through, Deacon can win the game here. Deacon's double teamed. He's all the time in the world. Wide open Tony. He gets tackled. Three sec or four seconds left. Four seconds left. Game on the line. Touchdown wins it. Come on, Deacon. Get the game winning sack. Game winning sack, Deacon. He throws it to the end zone. And it's incomplete. His like fifth incompletion of the game. Smacked down by number 37 or number 22. That is the wildest Super Bowl I think I've ever seen. The Rams are Super Bowl champions. 88 to 84. It came down to the last play, and Deacon Jones got his first sack of the game on the, what, third to last play? On the final drive of the game, he got his first sack. Yeah, the co-Super Bowl MVPs deserve to be Hutchins and um, Dwight O'Neal, and my god, the forehead on that man. Oh, this game did him dirty. What the hell? Dwight O'Neal... I mean, the best quarterback performance I've ever seen and probably ever will see. 44... or. God, 49 of 55, 811 yards, 8 touchdowns to 0 interceptions. And Kenny Fowler, our quarterback, finally learned his name. Wait, is he a rookie? No, he's 3 years. But Kenny Fowler ended up uh, 41 of 46, only missing 5 passes for 591 yards, 4 touchdowns to no picks. And now rushing, Luke Shepard ended up having 34 carries, 155 yards, 4 touchdowns. And then there were no t turnovers at all this game, so... Bryce Hutchins. I think he's probably going to win MVP. 28 carries, 242 rushing yards, 5 touchdowns. And uh, Rayshon Barber, 3 carries, 17 yards, and a touchdown. <laughs> My god, Dalton Casey. 21 receptions, 395 yards, 3 touchdowns. He had a drop, but I think it's more forced and complete, if anything. Brian Paul had 13 for 193 with 5 touchdowns. Nick Kinney, that's a tight end, that's why he was so slow. Had 10 receptions, 99 yards. Larry Harper is that guy's name, the X-Factor. 10 receptions, 135 yards. Earl Faulkner, who I kept messing up with the quarterback, mixing their names up. He had 8 receptions, 122 yards, and a touchdown. Cortez Avery, 7 receptions, 165 yards, 2 touchdowns. Kadarius Tony's here for some reason. He had 5 for 97. I don't even remember that guy getting any receptions, but he had 5 for 74. Luke Shepard, 5 for 52. Bryce Hutchins, 4 for 51. Tavares Coles, 1 for 12, and Adam O'Neill had 1 for 7, and a touchdown. Joe Ramirez, he looks pissed off in that picture. Led with 19 tackles. Uh, how, how many TFLs? Wow. Dominated by the Rams, huh? And the sacks went Leonard Dobbins, Deacon Jones, and Paul Matthews were the only three with sacks. There were no interceptions. There was actually a forced fumble. Terrence not. Oh, yeah, they didn't... Rec they forced two fumbles but didn't recover it. Damn, that guy got hurt too. Yeah, kicking. 11 for 11 for Reed Taylor. Oh no, yeah, he had the one field goal but 11 PATs. 
Oh, I was so confused. I was like, why is he here? But because he had one punt. Yeah, that one punt, that won the Rams the game. Well, I guess we punted too, but... Yeah, and Jamarcus Vincent had eight kick returns, 283 yards, and one touchdown. A 102-yard kick return to kick off the Super Bowl. Honestly, from that moment, I knew it was going to be an amazing game. I just obviously didn't think any it would be anything remotely close to that. That was insane. And Fowler actually ends up winning MVP. To be honest, it should have been Hutchins, and if they wanted to give it to a losing, or if they gave it to the Titans, it would have had to have been, um, not Dante, Dwight O'Neal. Why am I so bad with names? Yeah, I think O'Neal got robbed. I know they lost, but hey, Jerry West won finals MVP even though he lost. Why can't Dwight O'Neal get it when he passed for eight touchdowns? Uh, Sax, where is it? Alright, yeah, he, he is the record just by a little bit. It's 298 sacks, and I can't see his career here. Um, I could have just seen it there. Nine years, 298 sacks. Eh, pretty good. But he was getting a little old, so I'm going to fix that real quick. And if you're wondering how his career was going to last so long, this is how. I can just magically de-age him all the way back to 20 years old. And I'm giving him 75 back. And someone has it. 75, 75, 75, who's got 75? You. Alfonso Hightower, how dare you steal his number? Deacon Jones is now nine years of experience as a 20 year old. So in 10 years, let's just say he got like another 20 sack season. Uh, this will probably take another 20 to 30 years. Great. Why are they still making Trolls movies? That's the real question. Who's watching them? And can they just not be allowed to ever watch another movie? I wonder if they will do as good now that I actually turned it to auto, so they're actually going to uh, sign players and not go, what was it, 1-16 I think was their worst, at least. Yeah, another wild card, 11-6. and six. Ah, Detroit, 14-3, and three. yes. Mmm, New England, what the hell happened to you? 2-15. and 15. Oh, God. Must have let Mac Jones continue starting. No, still, I'm gonna look at Parsons. <laughs> Because it said Parsons was second all time at, what, 209, I think it said? So it's not really a race between, uh... Alright, didn't expect to see Tua be the Cowboys starting quarterback. That's receiving, you actual idiot. Well, only 10 sacks for Micah Parsons. I mean, I guess he is aging, not getting as good, but... Yeah, he's 33, so damn, he might retire soon. But Micah Parsons broke the all-time sack record, at least... Oh, I hit beat one too many times. So Deacon had a little bit of competition, even though Deacon has almost 100 more sacks than him, and most definitely does after the season, because he probably had like another 30. Oh god, a little bit more than 30, I just now looked up. Uh yeah, 46 sacks. Still no interceptions. But he forced four fumbles this year, he recovered three of them, uh, he got a safety, no blocked kicks, and no defensive touchdowns. But my god, I did not expect 46 sacks. I bet my S's are just breaking the mic right now. Who had the mo Well, that was a stupid question of who had the most. Was <laughs> well, Hugh Gibson finished second with 19 and a half. Just a little bit of distance between these two. Wait, how, how many of these does Deacon have now? Because he should have most of them. Yep, all of them except this one. It's held by Micah Parsons. Damn. <laughs> it's just kind of funny to see him just dominate. We should I should have checked this. Oh, well, uh, playoff stats clearly count, because <laughs> look at that. Oh, Deacon got seven sacks twice. I think w one of these is the playoff game, because playoff stats obviously count, because you saw Dwight O'Neal had 800 passing yards. But he did it twice. That's pretty cool. And he got six sacks as well, twice. I'm kind of surprised he's not broken seven, to be honest. I mean, it's very hard to do, but... Oh my god, I didn't realize Dwayne Casey tied the record, Brendan Marshall's record for receptions. Oh, yeah, Casey broke the receiving yards record. God, that's something to look at, isn't it? 344, the next closest is Parsons at 219. And Miles Garrett on the Cardinals is weird to see, but he's doing pretty good for himself. He broke this former sack record himself. Honestly, I want him to succeed, obviously. And they lost 15-14 to in the playoffs against Seattle. Alright, didn't expect that. We were the third seed and lost to the sixth. Alright. One year removed from winning the Super Bowl, we uh, just completely fall flat on our faces. 
what is it, 17 to 9 and a defensive tackle won Super Bowl MVP. Oh, Deacon won MVP too. I don't know why I didn't expect that, honestly. But cool. His second MVP, I believe? He has 10 Pro Bowl appearances. <laughs> Led the league in sacks 10 times. Yeah, he won MVP in 2023 and... Um, MVP in 2032, yeah. So he's only won MVP twice. Wait, next season he should be at 400 because of his 46 sack season. So hopefully, I mean, hopefully he reaches 400 sacks in 11 years because I don't want to risk going for like 30 years and then having Chris Dale forced to retire. If that happens, I'll be so sad. I mean, he'll break it eventually, but I don't... Chris... Not, I was going to make a joke about Chris Dale and Deacon being inseparable, but he Deacon left already. Oh, 11 and 6. All right. The, the Rams are the kings of 11 and 6. And they're actually playing uh, Deacon's former team, I guess. Where he left for like a season, and then I went and got him back. The statistics see if any team sucked. Oh, God. Dallas is on top again. 4 and 13. Okay. Nothing too abnormal. Just Denver and Giants being at the bottom of the. Bottom of the schedule. That's not what it's called. Not leaderboard. I was going to say power rankings, but that's not the right word either. Oh, well, they got rid of Tua pretty quickly, huh? Okay, he somehow bounced back at 18 and a half this season. We have 34-year-old Micah Parsons. Still a 97 overall. A little bit of regression, but, I mean... Wait, he actually regressed by almost 10 sacks, but 36 and a half is still amazing. 36 and a half sacks, two forced fumbles, he recovered one of the fumbles, he got another safety, and a defensive touchdown this season. He's also, how many tackles does he have in his career? I actually kind of want to look at that real quick. He has 1,100 tackles in his career, 380 and a half sacks, and that one pick six that I got when I was playing as him, 25 forced fumbles, 12 fumble recoveries, one blocked kick, five safeties, four defensive touchdowns. It's kind of wild. All in only 182 games as well. All right, see if he can beat his former team, the Packers. And they do, 38 to 10. Going up against Detroit now, 11, and, that's not 11, that's 10 and 7. And they lose 21-14. Well, damn. Okay, cool, I don't care that Chris Dale got extended, good for him. The Lions and Bills, what type of Super Bowl matchup from hell is this? A team that's never been to one and that a team that always chokes and can never win one. 17-14, to 14, the Bills end up winning for once. They finally don't choke, that's... I don't know if they've lost in this sim yet, that would if they did no because they lost four straight which is the only four they've ever been to so now they're one and one and five in Super Bowls huh that's not how that works hey ten and seven playing Carolina in the wild card okay this is more tame thirteen and four twelve I mean the two best mm, the Bears at three and fourteen Whew. at least the Rams are consistently winning their division <laughs> the second I say they didn't even win their division wow. Whatever, at least they're consistently having a winning record. And I guarantee you I just jinx that. But it's okay, Deacon can carry us to another Super Bowl performance. Jalen Hurts. Didn't expect him here, honestly. I guess I'll go check up on Parsons and see if he's still in the league or not. Yep, there he is. He's been here 13 years, still with Dallas. 39 and a half sacks for Deacon this year and his... This is his 12th, it just says 11th because his season's not over because they're in the playoffs. It's kind of weird how they do that. And he got a deflection. One forced fumble, one recovery for one yard. No blocked kick, safety, or a touchdown this season, unfortunately. Let's see, what does that put him at? I'm just going to do a quick check. 420. Perfect. God, Micah Parsons is 253 himself. Miles Garrett is what? Well Miles Garrett's now on the Saints. But he is 224. See, Max Crosby's up here. Greg Greg Rousseau? Alright. Alright, they beat Carolina by 10, 35-25. Now they gotta go up against Arizona. Alright, Clarence Anthony, you're gonna lead us to this W. What the hell happened to my voice? <coughs> Clarence Anthony just poisoned me. And they won 21 I think I need new eyes, because I clearly can't read. I need glasses or something. We beat Arizona 24-21.
Now we're facing the best team in the league, the Detroit Lions. Again, actually, I think they knocked us out last year. Let's see, is it a different story this year? Nope, they lose by three, 24-21. This year, it's a Titans and Lions Super Bowl. Wait, is Dwight O'Neal still the quarterback? I kind of, I honestly want to see him win. He put up a hell of a fight just to lose. He needs a Super Bowl right here. Come on. Come on, Dwight. But 24-23. What if with these incredibly close games? Yeah, there you go. Dwight O'Neal gets his first uh, Super Bowl for the Titans and himself. And Deacon won his third MVP. And every defensive player of the year since he's been in the league. Ow. I think I'll just reset it every 10 years just to be safe. Like when he reaches 30 or 29. Just because I don't want to forget and then have him retire and have this video absolutely ruined. Oh, 9 and 8. We made the playoffs. Oh god, Seattle. What the hell happened to you? 1 in 16? Whew. Washington. 14 and 3. Alright. Oh god. Hey, the Panthers are doing better than they are in real life. But what is this? 3 and 14 Vikings. 3 and 14 Panthers. 2 15 Jets. And then the 1 in 16 Seahawks. Oh my god. They only. They. Yeah. How do you only score 213 points? Yet yeah, they managed to allow only the third most points. Wait, is he actually gone? Oh, he's just gone. All right. Manny Shields is there. Pretty sure this dude's been here his eight, all eight of his years as well. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah, whatever. Check Deacon. I'm going to see if he just straight up retired or not. Unless he probably did. He was like, what, 35? Deacon with a modest 32 and a half sacks this year. No forced fumbles for some reason. No fumble recoveries, blocked kicks, safety, or defensive touchdowns. And he missed one game. Yeah, it seems Michael Parsons is retired, so Deacon's quote-unquote rival is out. He's no one else really to compete with him because second place was Miles Garrett, and it seems like he retired as well that season. Yeah, it looks like Micah Parsons finished his career with 253 sacks. Miles Garrett finished with 224. And Deacon still chugging along all the way at 452 sacks. Really, you lose to Arizona, your division rival, 21-7. Alright, well, on to the next year then, because that was disappointing. Cincinnati and Arizona, what a Super Bowl. What, since he's won four Super Bowls? Oh yeah, the, ru the run that Joe Burrow went on a long time ago. Damn, Jamar Chase is still playing and he won Offensive Player of the Year this season. It's kind of crazy. Oh, it's done. I got sidetracked. 11-6 and six playing Arizona yet again. Hey, the Titans are back on top. And the Bears are on the bottom yet again. Deacon with a modest 36 sacks in his 14th season. I just stopped counting the tackling tackles after a while because he gets 100 every single season. Again, no forced fumbles. Or fumble recoveries, touchdowns, blocked kicks, or safeties. 488. We're so close to that 500 mark. Damn, that means we're almost halfway there. This is actually going by way quicker than I thought it would be. I mean, I guess when you get bounced in the playoffs every single year, it will go quickly, because there's no game to watch. Speaking of getting bounced in the playoffs, huh? We beat Arizona, like, what, once or twice in the playoffs? And they're back in the, or the... Yeah, they're back in the Super Bowl against Cleveland. And Arizona actually won for once. Wow. Yeah, there's Cleveland Browns' first AFC Championship. Oh, Deacon won MVP. Let's go, his... Fourth? Fifth? So it was his fourth MVP. Oh, we just missed the... Oh, wait, no, we got a first round bye. I was scared we missed the playoffs because I'm honestly not used to getting first round buys. We went 12-5. and five. Let's go. Right behind the Titans at 13-4, and four, tied with the Ravens and Bills. And Eagles, actually. The poor Chargers. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. We had one quarterback play 17 games, one 13, the other one 4. That is kind of interesting. Whatever, I'm not going to ask. Wait, did that say he had 17 touchdowns? Okay. I mean, 10 to 1 is great, but I looked at 16 in the 1. Eh, they both did pretty good, though. Oh my god, Deacon. 47 sacks. Hey, and he actually remembered how to force fumbles. He recovered one of them, too. He got a safety again. That breaks his other record of 46. So he should be... Well, I'm pretty sure he already was, but he should have all of these now. You have 47, 46, 39, 37, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 34. You have all Deacon Jones. All the way at 535. 
he still has not broken the game record. That's kind of surprising. When you get 47 sacks in a season, I would have figured maybe eight could have came in one game. All right, our first first round by either ever or since our first season. I'm not sure. You get a free ride of the divisional to face, I hope not Arizona. All right, Washington with who the hell is that dude? Whoever he is, he's a 95 overall X Factor. And he's honestly very scary. He's intimidating me. I'm scared. We lost. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Come on, really? Really, we lose to him. And Washington wins their first Super Bowl since, like, what, 80? Early 80s, late 70s? Deacon won MVP, not surprised. 47 sacks. That's his fifth. I actually know for a fact that's his fifth because we checked a few years ago. I was about to say Deacon's not getting any younger, but yes, he literally is. I made, I de-aged him. So at least we'll have him for the future. We just need the rest of the team to step up. Okay, 14 and 3. I guess the game, well, not the game, the team listened to me, performed even better. Seahawks, 3 and 14. I feel really bad for them. Hey, best team in the entire league. Let's go. Jets were the next closest at 13 and 4. Oh, poor Seattle. Okay, back-to-back -back 47 season sack. That's not a correct sentence. Back-to-back -back seasons with 47 sacks. Also, almost 130 tackles. I get no forced fumbles. I don't know why this man just either gets, like, no forced fumbles or, like, well, I guess it's usually, like, two. But he got, he got a blocked kick, though. Back-to-back no, -back 47 sacks. That's insane. Deacon Jones at 582, almost the 600 mark. At least next season he'll get there. Come on, all you gotta do is beat the nine-win Bears. Come on. Okay, barely. All right, team, you just have to get through the 10-7 and seven Buccaneers. Come on. They do. They're back in the Super Bowl, and it's up against the Buffalo Bills. 28-17, to 17, they beat the Bucks. Come on, Deacon. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, that's a little bit of a fumble, honestly, but all right, let's go. Fourth and three. Forcing a three and out on the first defensive drive. That's a that's a great showing for this defense, even though Deacon, I mean, he got through that one play, but the pass was off too quickly. Now time to see what our offense looks like, because we don't have our uh, Fowler or um, Hutchins, I assume, or anyone from the offense from that uh, Super Bowl winning team. Marching on the field pretty well to start this game off. Number five is going to get sacked. Man, I have had a great ability to, like, just instantly curse a team. The second I finished saying that sentence, that uh, dude came in unblocked. Oh, well, I we need a good pass here to get in a field goal range. Number five going deep. It's almost picked off and really should have been picked. Come on, Johnson. Johnston. Johnston that, well, to be fair, should have been an interception. I guess he got bailed out in two punts on the first drive. Well, a punt for both teams on their first drive is what I'm trying to say. Is he the running back or is he the wide receiver? No, Paris is just a wide receiver wearing number 22. Here's their... What a block by 72. And for some reason, he just slowed down. Lowry. He honestly might have been able to get around that defender if he didn't slow down for some reason. Adik. Ooh... Oh, another drop pick. That's the second drop pick this game. That really should have been an interception. But I saw Deacon. He was trying to get to Schumer. I think it's the Bills quarterback. And they have to double team him. Ah, but just like our last Super Bowl, someone's always wide open. No one even remotely close to him. I wonder if they don't get this if they're in field goal range or not. I mean, they most likely are, but I, that doesn't matter because he didn't score. But the Rams are now... That's not the Rams. The Bills are now down inside the... Inside the tent. You know what? Whatever. I hope I don't jinx it, but this guy's no Dwight... I almost called him Dwight Schrude. That was not his name. Dwight O'Neal. This guy's no Dwight O'Neal. But number 32 gets the best blocks in the world. Well. He won't be getting those blocks anymore. How is the running back tired? Well, it doesn't matter. He walks in untouched. Mike Sharp. First touchdown in the Super Bowl, just walking in untouched. This guy's no Hutchins. Oh, but the teleporting handoff is back, and well, all right, maybe he's better than Hutchins. I don't know. Davis is looking pretty good. 
first a telepathic handoff and then just taking that carry for a good, like, what, 30, 40 yards? Handing it off to Davis again. There he goes. Breaking a tackle. Yes, he does. At the six. Down at the six is Davis. Two massive carries. About 50, 60 yards in those last two carries for Davis. They're going to give it to him for a third play straight. Yes, they are. And he, I thought he was going to get through. He gets three yards, putting the Rams down at the three-yard line. Why am I trying to cast this? I think it's going to Davis for the fourth play in a row. Let's see. Yep. And that one got absolutely blown up. All right, it might be time to pass it, because I think they were expecting the run. You fooled them three times, but the fourth... You don't fill the... You don't fool the bulls... <laughs> You don't... Oh, touchdown. So I'm stumbling over my words. Uh, that Him, Velasco, just scored a touchdown. I'm just noticing, why do like all the auto-generated players have long sleeves? Deacon's already looking at him over there. He's getting a sack on this play. Never mind, he got locked down. He got through. What the hell? Alright. Alright. Maybe I, uh, I was wrong. This dude does have a little bit of Dwight O'Neal in him. Because that was an amazing pass downfield. Parrish seems like the dude we need to lock down if we want to win this. He was open again. We just played pinball with that damn wide receiver there. Honestly, thought he was going to drop it, but he somehow held on to that pass. Third and four. The Rams need to get a stop here to try and force the field goal. I wonder if Buffalo will fake a field goal. Be pretty interesting. Oh, Deacon gets around him. Quick throw. He didn't get it. Fourth and inches. Now the Bills have a decision here. Are they going to go for it or just take the three points? They're just taking the three. I mean, this could be a fake, but most likely they're just going to take their three to go up 10-7. to seven. Yep. And it's good. Rams go up 10-7. Five minutes left in the first. Oh, oh, another kick return to the house. How is this two Super Bowls in a row, a kick return's going to the house? Does it say number 40? Yeah, number 40 taking this one to the house. All right. Alonzo Burris. Was that also like 102 yards? Because I'm pretty sure that is what the last one was that that guy took back on, on the opening play of the Super Bowl. And it's not going to show me. Well, we'll find out after. But I think that was about a 102 yard kick return, just like the other one. Well, that's a hell of a way to get momentum back after your defense got a nice stop forcing the field goal, and then you take the kickoff return to the house. Come on. Oh, oh no, is it Her Parrish again? What a catch. It looks like he magnetized himself to the field a little bit. I Damn. So, like I said, that was a hell of a catch. Also, a pinpoint pass, a dot. Hmm, a little bit of magnetization, but it's fine. Oh, it's an inter dropped interception. Come on, it's the third this game that has been thrown right to somebody, and they just can't catch it. That's, that's Ramirez from the first Super Bowl as well. I thought Schumer was just going to take that to the house. Oh, he just got hurt. He just injured himself on that run because he didn't slide. He just ran into them. But I'm pretty sure their running back still hurt too, so this is a backup quarterback and backup running back. <laughs> Alright. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, no, Autry, I think is their starter? God, I'm awful at this. Well, anyway, uh, their quarterback is hurt, so they're going to be playing at least a little bit with a backup. After their running back just hurtled over some guy on the ground into the end zone. 17-14 lead. I don't know why I'm saying we. I had nothing to do with this. This is the Rams. All right, number... Okay, Davis is gone to the house. 32 yards. Damn. Benji Davis to the house. 32 yards. That's, a, that's one way to put the Rams back up. 21-17. All right, Bruce dropping back. Kind of holds the ball weird. Deacon! Let's go. His first sack. It actually came in the first quarter. Let's go, Deacon. Why is this running back perpetually tired? Let's go. There's the second. Let's go, baby. Back-to-back -back sacks. Deacon is the man. Oh, now he's got his X-Factor active. It's unstoppable force, if I'm not mistaken. And he has to get double teamed. 
He's trying to break through. The quarterback, Bruce, is still just standing there. Deacon's fighting for his life in that double team. I, I, I don't know. Oh, it's the end of the first quarter, so they called like a Hail Mary. What the hell is happening? Is he going to extend this play any longer? All of that just for a complete pass. What the hell? He's 3 for 3, 80 yards. Well, Deacon lost his X Factor after one play. I think I had this happen to me before when I was playing with Javante Williams. A, a read option on third and goal at the four. Well, I guess it was the three because he lost a yard. Uh, interesting play call here. Taking the field goal to go down 21, 20, 20 to 21. I swear if this is still a run, they're trying to choke away. Well, I mean, there's still two whole quarter. Oh, God, he fumbled. Get it. Get it. Okay. What the hell is the flag? A holding. You got a holding call. Really? Your quarterback's lying there on the ground having to crawl to get the football after he fumbled it and you held? Alright, that was a disastrous drive. Two rushes for three yards. Quarterback gets sacked and fumbles and a holding call backs us up even more. Come on, D, you can get your third sack. Well, you kind of can't on a run play. But you guys can still tackle him, you know that? You, you can tackle him, guys. Not carry him down to the one. He's tired, at least. If we get a nice hit on him, we can force him to fumble. But he's passing to Parrish, who's wide open. All right. Well, a disastrous offensive drive. and a, what, Those people were in the wall back there, huh? No, I'm, no I'm, not, I'm not ignoring that game. Those cameramen were in... They're sticking through the wall. You can see them there. I didn't know Miami Stadium had mole people in the walls. It's kind of cool. Mole people. Oh, he's gone. Oh, I just look. I was changing. I was changing the song I was listening to, and he's just gone. It's his second kick return. This game, Alonzo Burris. He deserves MVP, man. Two kickoff returns for touchdowns? How far was this one? Wait, it's not going to show me because it's going to show just halfway through the kickoff. Well, damn, I kind of wish I was paying attention, not changing the song. Wow, what a way to get us back in the game. His second kickoff return for a touchdown. Now it's 48, and it doesn't matter because he, he choked. Sharp just actually choked. He had the free first down. He could have just slowly walked forward to get the first down. He just didn't. He decided to upcut into the defensive lineman. Strange strategy, but I like it. Oh, they're in field goal range? Hmm. Is this a... Wait. Okay, I thought it was a fake for a second. It's... I don't know. Was it good or not? I couldn't tell. It... Missed. It was wide right. The Bills Bills fans know a little bit about a wide right kick in the Super Bowl. We might get held to a field goal here, actually. Oh, we, we get it down to the four. Now I'm just kind of scared our offense is going to stall because they have not shown much other than letting Davis just get the ball and go ham. Now have handoff to Davis. He has blockers. He hesitated like four times, breaks a tackle. Just straight up walks in, ignore the teleporting cameraman back there. Benji Davis with his second, third of the game? No, his second, because two kick returns, then the field goal. Third and 16, a screen pass on third and 16. Interesting call, gets tripped up. And it's now fourth and 13, they're punting the ball right back to us. Oh, the pass, getting him down to the three... Yep, getting him down to the three, Johnston. He's having a solid game, just not that many passes. Six for nine, 97 at touchdown. 21 rushes to nine passes. Make it 22, because it's going right up the middle to Davis. Oh no, it's play action. And he gets sacked. A quick pass that should have... What? He caught that? That should have been a pick all day. An immaculate catch by some unknown receiver they called hurry up so I will never know but what a catch really after all of that that great catch where he threw a pick like Johnston threw a pick that was, that's picked every day 
it somehow the receiver caught it just before it hit the ground. And then they run it up the middle and are forced to take the field goal. That is such a disappointing way to have that great of a catch just for it to turn into only three points. They're going to go down and try and score, but they ran the ball the first play? And then they throw a jump ball that's complete. Okay. Deacon's, Deacon's got a good opportunity here to get a sack on Hail Mary. He's going to have all day in the pocket. Oh, Deacon just... He's getting humped. That man just started humping him. He's going to the end zone. It is caught, but they are short. Five yards short of the end zone. That has got to be infuriating. Getting the Hail Mary actually complete. It's just before half. But being five yards short of the end zone, it's got to hurt. I mean, it's better than calling a screen on third and 17 or whatever the Bills did. It still didn't work, though. I guess don't call screens. Now the Bills are punting the ball. Or the Rams are punting the ball to the Bills. Oh, Deacon! He just bullied that poor tackle. And he got his third sack of the game. Tripling the sack totally got in the last Super Bowl. He disengaged for some reason. Come on, get him! Let's go, 58 and 52. Let's go, 4th and 29. Back-to-back -back sacks. One by Deacon and then by 58 and 59. I think the only actual incompletion we've seen was from Johnston when he threw it into the dirt. Instead of throwing it to his receiver, he didn't throw that one into the dirt. Number 10? Ah, oh, just stepped out of bounds at the 2. Oh, Davis, touchdown. Let's go. <clears throat> Minji Davis, another touchdown. God, those people look so weird just in the wall. That's so distracting. All right, third and six for uh, Buffalo's offense. What are they going to do here? Deacon. Nah, I thought he was going to get through. Deep pass. It's tipped. Really could have been picked or caught by uh, a decent one at that, but he just got hurt. Oh, God. No, are you okay? Johnston. There goes our O-line, and our quarterback immediately tumbled after running into him. Why the hell is he so wide open? All right, Larry Harper to the end zone. I, I, I don't know what got him so open. I guess one of the DBs or wide receivers bumped him. And the Rams just tack on to this ever-growing lead. Now, granted, they are down 52-27. to 27. Maybe not much for long, not much longer. All the way down to the four for Sharp, and just the almost as free of a touchdown as the one that Harper had. Here, the kicker did miss a field goal. He's not missing the PAT though. 52-34, Rams still up. Uh, he's going to the end zone, Johnston, and he's not gonna get it. Down to the one. They're giving Davis his fifth. I believe they just g gave Benji Davis his fifth. 59-34. to 34. Rams up. Two minutes left in the third. This game is most likely over. Oh my god, Deacon. Yeah, Deacon wants this ring. Four sacks. I know it's very early to call that, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and call that. <laughs> this game's over. Deacon and his X-Factor. He... He's actually utilizing his X-Factor 2 back-to-back -back sacks. His fifth sack of the game. And he's punching him. My god, he's pulling a Miles Garrett just beating the quarterback. Yeah, if Deacon's playing like this, it's over. The first one was an absolute shootout. There's no way he gets a third. He got his three plays in a row. Deacon's sixth sack of the game. Ooh. They are now punting from essentially the back of their own end zone. And Johnson's throwing it deep. He doesn't care. And 37's actually open. And they are right back at the 10. Oh, it's just a touchdown. Yeah, yep, all right. Well. Yeah. If the last touchdown in three straight sacks did not put the nail in the coffin, that touchdown just did as the Rams go up 66 to 34. They're going for it. Honestly, I would just take the guaranteed three points to make the score look not as bad that you didn't lose by 30. He, all right, he gets the touch. No, okay, 48 got him. He almost got a touchdown, putting the Bills at the three. I've only been recording for an hour 38. I feel like I've been here for an hour 38. Hey, Sharp gets into the end zone. Yeah, you're gonna get some big check marks on your 
All right. That play looked... Damn, Benji Davis. That play looked scuffed from the beginning. Breaking out of a tackle and stiff-arming another guy. Almost breaking out of that last tackle as well. Are the Rams taking a field goal? Nope, the Rams are going for it here, huh? And fourth and three just to waste even more clock. Another pass. And really could have been picked. Well, I guess that's a defensive end. Rams pick up the fourth down, waste even more clock. 600 total yards. This has just been a dominant performance. The defense was actually able to stop the Bills' offense. Deacon played amazing. That man right there, Benji Davis, trying to take another one to the house. He's already taken four today. And he dove into the end zone. Whatever. Craig Robinson getting what is possibly the final touchdown of the Super Bowl for the Rams as they go up 73-41. to 41. Johnson rubbing salt in the wound with that passing touchdown. Oh, Deacon, there's his seventh sack of the game. All seven of his uh, tackles are sacks as well. One more, Deacon, come on. Get eight, please. I want to see him get eight. Break the record. I think the playoffs... Oh, he's going to do it. No, he rolled out to the other side. That was Deacon's opportunity for the eighth sack and the record-breaking sack. I think it'll count because we saw... um. Most passing yards in a game, Dwight O'Neal was there with like 818 or whatever he got in the Super Bowl we played. So Deacon's got to get one more in five minutes. He can't really do much when he's getting double teamed like that. Again, a dot by Wayne. Or I just called him Wayne Bruce. He might be the... Bruce might be the uh, starter after this. I wonder if I've been calling him Wayne this entire time. Just saying like Bruce Wayne. His name is just Wayne Bruce. I kind of hope it is. Oh my god, number 21 got rocked. Come on, Deacon, get number 8. Let's go. He's just standing there. Nah, Deacon couldn't get past him. Hey, the, the, the Bills are down to the Rams 15. A rare red zone trip for this Bills team in the second half. Alright, I honestly thought it was going to be a run. Deacon? No, he's on the other side. Bruce is just going to slowly walk into the sack. We have ten sacks. Seven of those are from Deacon. Or Benji Davis with uh, four rushing touchdowns. Honestly, it could be either one of them. Or any one of them. Deacon? Oh, yeah, he was... Ah, they scored. Damn. Caleb Thomas getting in the end zone. And there you go, the Rams win their second Super Bowl, this one in dominant fashion, 73-48. to Gavin Johnson, 366 yards, 4 touchdowns, no interceptions obviously because the AI just does not turn the ball over unless it's a fumble. Oh, his name's Will Bruce, I really thought it was Wayne Bruce, or I was hoping it was. And he ended up throwing 432 yards, 3 touchdowns. And Calvin Schumer, who was their starter, threw for 167 yards before he got injured. Benji Davis had 39 carries, 290 yards, 4 touchdowns. Mike Sharp had 20 carries, 121 yards, and 2 touchdowns. Aaron Lowry had 3 for 34. Malik Gordon had 4 for 29. And Autry had 5 for 26 and a touchdown. And Parrish had 13 receptions, 212, a touchdown. Larry Harper had 8, 149, and a touchdown. Caleb Thomas had 9 and 106 a touchdown. Laurie, I guess, yeah, that's how you'd say that. 689 and a touchdown. Joe Velasco, Velasco had actually had two touchdowns, but only five receptions for 47 yards. And everyone else just had one or two receptions. Now we look at the defense. The man who shined, greatest defensive player of all time. Deacon had nine total tackles, seven TFLs, seven sacks. Man just played out of his mind. I guess the rest of our defense did too, because we ended up with, what, 8, 9, 10. We had 10 sacks on the day, 7 of them, which were from Deacon. I also want to look at this. Alonzo Burris, 5 kick returns, 275 yards, and 2 touchdowns. He had the longest of 100. Yeah, I don't know who's going to get Super Bowl MVP. Actually, I'm really interested to see who the game gives it. 7 sacks for Deacon Jones, 
four rushing touchdowns for Benji Davis or Burris with uh, the two kickoff return for touchdowns. It was Benji Davis with the four touchdowns. To be honest, Deacon and Burris got robbed. I know four touchdowns is crazy. I also had like 200-something yards. But I would have given to given it to seven sacks or two kickoff return for touchdowns. But that's just me. Oh damn, we went 4-13. and 13. What happened? We're one year removed from winning the Super Bowl. Well, I guess the Lions going 15-2 and two and the Titans going 14-3. and three. And we're tied for worst team in the league with... Wow, a lot of teams actually. Four others? Yeah, Cincy, Seattle, Vikings, and Colts, yeah. Okay, thank God I got kind of scared. The Deacon left because he was getting a little older. I think he's like, what, 28 now? Uh, this year, 34 and a half sacks. Three deflections. Looks like he was dropping back in coverage a little bit more. Only one forced fumble, which he recovered for three yards. No blocked kick, another safety, and no defensive touchdowns. That puts him at 617 all-time. Did the Bills overcome the loss, the devastating loss last year at the hands of the Rams? No, they, well, I wouldn't say an even worse loss. Maybe, actually, I would say an even worse loss, because at least when they lost to us by, like, 30, they scored a bunch. This time, they only scored six points. Giants won their fifth Super Bowl. Yeah, Deacon wins in, or Defensive Player of the Year. Oh, hard voice. Deacon wins Defensive Player of the Year. No surprise there. Oh, we went 14-3. and three. Damn. I got kind of scared when I didn't see us in the wild card because I'm so used to us being in the wild card. I thought we missed it again. But actually, we were the best team in the league. 14-3. and three. Mm, Nothing at normal. Only four wins. The worst team. Hopefully that means Deacon had another, like, 48-sack season. Maybe even 50. That's still pretty good. It's not 50, but I cannot be mad at a 45-and-a-half sack season. Still, sadly, no picks. Two forced fumbles. Recovered... One of the fumbles, no safeties, no defensive touchdowns, or blocked kicks. I really want to see if the AI will get a pick with him, because I'm pretty sure, to date, his only career pick is the one I got in the first game, which was actually a pick six. Alright, we beat the Falcons, only by a field goal somehow, now facing the 10-7 and seven Giants. Alright. Do we make another Super Bowl? We do, we dominated the Giants 31-7, and now we will be facing the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl. Wait, wasn't this the other Super Bowl matchup we played? Hold on. The first time I'm actually using this feature. Uh, wow, the Bills made it to back-to-back, -back, I guess. Oh, three in a row. Damn, poor Bills. Looks like they're repeat repeating history. Uh, yeah. They've made it to the past three Super Bowls. Got destroyed in that one by Deacon. Then the Giants destroyed them in this one, Bruce Sampson. And now they're in their third straight Super Bowl. Really? That's P.I.? Alright. Well, they get the ball at the one. Uh, yep. Yeah, Aaron Lowry. Almost, yeah, Aaron Lowry, first score of the Super Bowl. Bills go up 7-0. After that costly P.I. by the Rams. That was an awful pass. Lucky it wasn't picked off. I think even the game thought it was picked off because both the receiver and defensive back just kind of stopped. Oh, that's why Davis won Super Bowl MVP. Oh, I thought he got past number 28. Still a good run. This dude's the heart and soul of the offense, just like our first running back that I can't remember his name because it's been a few days since I recorded this. James Nash. Because the injuries already started piling up for Buffalo. Was that the first man down? Pretty sure in the first Super Bowl, like, I think both the running backs and their quarterback got hurt. All the way down to the two, Carvey's still four for four. They're giving it to Davis up the middle, bounces off, dives in. Somehow got the ball across the line. Benji Davis tying up the game. 7-7. Seven, seven. Is it even possible for the AI to miss a, few, uh, miss a PAT that isn't blocked? Because I don't think I've seen it. Oh he, oh, he got through, but the quarterback got it off in time, too. Another wide open receiver. Glad to see some things never change, as the Bills' uh, wide receivers are just always open downfield, with a man not even in his vicinity. Oh, Deacon got through. Ah, uh, he... Okay, I guess that technically was a fumble. But now, does that count for a forced fumble for Deacon, or not? I'm not entirely sure. Honestly, I would have rather had the sack. 
Oh, Deacon gets through again, though. And yet again, finding the open receiver. Where was... What the hell? Oh, and now Roger Barrett's hurt for us. The Super Bowls between these two have just been injury-prone. There you go, Lowry diving in the end zone. Putting the Bills up 14-7. to Uh, camera? What the hell? Where did that camera go? Third and seven for the Rams here. And he missed him when he was open. Wow. Fourth and seven for the Rams. I think they're just going to punt it. Yeah, wow. Carvey with two terrible misses in a row. Forcing the Rams to punt. Come on, third and six. Come on. Deacon just needs to get in his face and force some pressure. That's all we need. We're just to wrap him up. I think th oh, Deacon. He's actually got, getting through. And he tackled him because he got stuck on the offensive lineman's head is what it looked like. But I'll take it. And that forces the punt. The Rams actually had a successful defensive stop, which I was honestly not able to predict. Oh, well, what the... F Where did the camera even put me? What the game? What the hell was I looking at? A quick pass, another. Carvey just loves to pass, like in traffic, or just throw it right to a defender and hope his receiver makes a play on it. Honestly, a very bold strategy. It's there in three. I honestly would have just handed it off to Davis because he gets sacked. Well. And the Rams are punting on. Another drive. Give it to Benji Davis. He's been like the only good player on offense, and yet you just stopped giving it to him? Like on third and three, I'm trusting him, the Super Bowl MVP. I noticed the AI doesn't run the play where Deacon like drops back into- Huh? Bruh. Deacon has 99 in every stat, yet he proceeded to chase down the running back, even though he watched the quarterback keep it. Like, he ran around everybody to tackle the running back. When the quarterback obviously had the ball. He has 99 in every stat. What the hell? Proves how garbage this game is. 99 in like awareness and everything. And yet he apparently is not aware enough to see the quarterback running and everyone else on the defense chasing after the quarterback. Oh, how did you drop that pick? I mean, at least it was a... Uh, he forced it incomplete. I wish he got the pick. It's fourth and five. We need to stop. Deacon, perfect time, third and five. He got locked down, and I don't know how that pass was missed. We'll take it, though, fourth and five. Yet another pun. What is this, four consecutive drives? Because the Rams punted twice and the Bills have punted twice. We have 34 passing yards. Yeah, about to... Ah, uh, yes, the 360 pass for maybe a yard. That was pretty impressive. All right, another third and two for this Rams offense. I just can't get moving now. I hand it, I hand it off to Benji Davis. There we go. He got clotheslined by his own offensive lineman and lost a yard. Wow. Make that five consecutive punts. I mean, B Benji Davis had it. It was a good play call, but the O lineman, I guess, uh, took the under on his rushing yards and decided to take matters into his own hands. And that's not in. He's down to the one, though. Oh, God. Are the Bills going to go up two scores here? Yep, right to Lowry. Third touchdown of the game. God, Aaron Lowry, three first-half touchdowns. The Rams have a pathetic-looking offense now. Can't do anything. Oh, God. Down 21-7. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, apparently don't give it to Benji Davis because he has no speed. What happened? It's now third and 14. This off the offense is kind of desperate now. And he... All right. I really don't know about the third and 14 check down there. When you're already down two touchdowns. Punting for the third consecutive drive? Or fourth. I've lost count at this point, but it's three or four consecutive drives they've punted now. And it's a touchback. Ooh, this is not looking good for the Rams at all. 
Deacon gets a sack, potentially forcing him out of field goal range. No quick pass. Doesn't get it. Fourth and one. I assume Buffalo just takes their field goal going up 24-7. No, they're going for it, surprisingly. Just run up the middle, probably. Yep, run up the middle. Hesitated, but he got it. Bruh. Number 24. The Rams don't deserve to win the Super Bowl. Number 24 was running towards him and then just stopped. What is the thought process there? He runs straight to the quarterback, can make the play because he's past the line of scrimmage. And he can't pass the ball. His only opportunity is to run. And he just stops allowing the rushing touchdown. Wow. That's how they go down 28-7. This is the most depressing offensive showcase I've ever seen. Oh my god. Third and five. Don't tell me it's going to be another punt, please. There's no way they do it again. Yeah, he is dropping back to pass. He actually hit him. I'm shocked they were able to complete it. There you go. Maybe this quarterback need to be warmed up. They're actually in the red zone the first time this half. I can say that confidently. Well, not half. Second quarter, I meant to say. All right, let's see what the play call is here. Third and five. They fail. They can take a field goal, but they really need uh, six. They really need a touchdown. He throws to the wide open 89. I almost call him Tyler Higby because he looks exactly like him. But Craig Robinson. The Rams' second touchdown of the half. Reminder that Lowry, the Bills running back, has three himself. There you go. Now they're only down 28 to 14. Come on, defense. Wow. Well, the Bills are at the six yard line. Yet again. This defense is an embarrassment right now. They haven't done anything. And, yep, all right. Lowry, Lowry touchdown. Okay, he's open. How's it huddle? Okay, it's time. Now I'm just kind of concerned because the AI is never good with their timeouts and will just usually let clock run out. There you go, 89. Does does not get out of bounds. And they, yeah, just waste three seconds for no reason. I love the AI's clock management. It's truly genius. Better than Nathaniel Hackett's, at least. And he runs into the... He ran into the defensive end. Really? You need a score, and what you do is you run up and into the defensive end. Alright, he gets out of bounds. But it is third down. At least he didn't get sacked, and... He doesn't get in. They're at the one-yard line, they have a, no timeouts left, and it's going to halftime. Oh my god, that is so unfortunate. They were one yard away from scoring, and they had no timeouts. Uh, so they go down to half. They go down. They go to half down 30. I'm not even including that. Screw that. And they got ball at half too. That makes it so much worse that they didn't score. One yard away, man. That sucks. Taking a deep shot on the first play. Oh, he could have caught it, but he just didn't. Ah, uh, yet another third down. Shouldn't be surprised. And he's wide open. Oh, damn. Okay, 31. Breaking the tackle. Oh, 67 got a better block. Gordon was gone. But they are in the red zone. They just need to capitalize off this. If only they could have scored before half, but it's fine. Because Benji Davis ran into the guy that was blocked. The offensive lineman, like, stun-locked him, but yet he still ran into him. There you go, Benji Davis, taking in 13-yard touchdown. Getting the Rams a little closer. Oh, Deacon's actually getting through, forcing the bad pass. Bad pass to the open receiver, I guess, huh? It's even to the running back that's doing that. Oh, Deacon got through again, finally. He has three sacks. Where did the second one come from? I only remember one where he chased him down. And Deacon's in his X-Factor. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure he just lost it. 
Yeah, he just lost after one play. That was awesome. Oh, and great. Lowry is in his X-Factor now. Quarterback's taken off. What? Why were two of them open in the end zone? The quarterback could have even ran if he wanted to. Alright, that's one way to uh, score, I guess. Another kickoff. This team loves getting kickoff returns for touchdowns. It's actually insane. Matt Duvall. Alright, there's 28-42. And now here's the problem. The Bills' offense goes back on the field. There's no way. Okay, they're at least gonna... <sighs> One play and they're just on our, the Rams side of the field. They're no, I'm not even saying R anymore, it's the Rams. I don't want to be associated with this defense. It's team even. Come on, Deacon. Oh, he got through and he gets the sack too. At this rate, Deacon might just need to strip sack and then score. Third and 15. Come on. What, the, what happened there? He was wide open for a touchdown. It's third and 15. I don't know how Thomas is wide open in the end zone, but he just dropped it. Like, well, that was a lucky break for the Rams, but Bills go up 45, what, 28? Okay, Benji Davis. Oh, he had one man to beat. Oh, and Larry Harper just got hurt for us on our running play. That's great. But Benji Davis almost took that. Like, what, 80 yards to the house? Yeah, around 70, 70, 77, 80, whatever it was. Gonna run no matter what. Breathe some life into this offense. He's obliterated that time. Around 20 minutes left to make this comeback. Actually prove to the world that you deserve to be here. In the Super Bowl by playing some defense would be nice. Well, he's going deep. He actually caught it, number five, touchdown. Costin. Alright. Seeing the Rams finally score is nice, but the problem has been defense the whole game. They just have to get a stop. They have to force the Bills to punt, fumble, throw an interception, just something, and score again. Ah, uh, yet again, uh, and he broke the tackle. Oh my god, they're almost in the red zone again off one play. This has been like every drive. Has been one to two plays and they're in the red zone. It's actually wild to watch. How poorly these DBs are playing. It's actually insane. Oh my god. They can't bring him down. Third and two. Not going to the X-Factor running back. Instead, dropping back to pass. To the wide open wide receiver. Oh, tight end even. Tim Allison. They have to go for it on this fourth and one. I'd say this is legitimately their last chance to win the game or just stay alive, actually. Hey, he actually holds on to the ball. Kind of surprising. <laughs> Another, like, forced incompletion. It's two in a row. And they're settling for three for some reason. This is not a fake. There's no... Okay, yeah. Uh, well... They scored. They dropped two touchdowns, but they scored, I guess. Bills are most likely just going to run the ball and chew clock, so this is their best chance to come back in this game. Just hope they can learn how to tackle the running back. And just have the Bills punt the ball to them. They need this third and seven stop here. They need it. And they get it, while number 25 was able to lay out and just get a hand on the ball, forcing it incomplete. Yep, Buffalo punts the ball. Out of two run plays, it's now 3rd and 9, and they have gained one yard. There's no way this is a third run in a row. I refuse to believe it. It was a third run in a row. Oh my god. What the hell is this play calling? And they're punting. What? Oh my god. Yeah, they lost. It's over. It, it's over. What is that play call? You're down, like, what, two, three scores still? 
they run it three times inside their own ten. And then punt the ball away. Don't even go for it on fourth. Yeah, it's over. Oh, oh, he's oh he's gone too. Okay, yeah, he's just that's just a touchdown. They're they gonna at least score here. More quick passes. Not play action. Not a quarterback. What is wrong with this offense? And he could have just ran for the touchdown, but instead he threw off his back foot and out of the back of the end zone. Hey. A garbage time touchdown, I guess. I mean, it looks close on the scoreboard, but realistically it's not. Lowry has just had his day with the Rams defense. No one can tackle him. And he just took one like over 50 yards last drive. I guess if they force a fumble and return it for a touchdown, it's still feasible. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, they've allowed 764 yards. Okay, yeah, this is this is just the worst run defense I've ever seen. That's their third string. I'm pretty sure that's not even their backup. That is their third or fourth string running back doing this. Oh, it doesn't matter. Parrish just open on a RPO. You know, for the fact that they are down 21 points, it still does not show how bad of a defensive performance this game has been for the Rams. I don't even have enough time, even if they get the onside. There's no way they score quick enough to then get another onside kick. Well, they do end up scoring. Is that Gordon? I'm pretty sure it is. Well, it's 52 to 66. They need the onside. And then another. Or they need the onside, then to score, and then another onside. All in 37 seconds with one timeout left. And it just goes right to the Bills. That was a terrible attempt. That's weird. Yeah, no surprise. Aaron Lowry, MVP. Deacon won MVP. And again, defensive player. After that abysmal performance, Deacon's Super Bowl record is now 2-1. That being a 14-point loss does not show how poorly the Bills' defense played. They just couldn't stop anything. He's up to 662. So close to 700. What's the record Peterson said? Is it 296? Lowry was only 40 yards away from that. Because to show how just the defense could not stop him. I and mean, once he got in his X Factor, I don't think he ever lost it. They had a couple opportunities to get him out of it. They just missed terribly. Wow. They went from like 14 wins last season to 9 and 8. And somehow won their division. It was a terrible division. Oh god, Dallas... Led the league again, great. 39 sacks. Same thing, he will never get another pick, I'm assuming, unless I user it. Uh, two forced fumbles, he recovered one, this time for only one yard. He got a safety this year, but no defensive touchdowns, no blocked kicks. They do 38-0, to zero. okay. Alright, now going up against the Giants, they were 11-6. and six. Alright, 30-21, and 21. we have to make our way through the NFC East, I guess. The only thing we didn't play is Philly. All right, the 13 and 4 Cowboys and the 9 and 8 Rams to go to the Super Bowl. They lose 21 to 13, and Dallas got destroyed. This is beautiful to see. Jonathan Matthews won Super Bowl MVP. Deacon won MVP yet again, and there's no point. He's won every defensive player of the year. Like actually, it's insane. That's Jacksonville's, like, first ever Super Bowl appearance and win. Huh, good for them. Hey, you crossed 700, 701 sacks for Deacon Jones. Okay, 11-6, and six, we did do better. Seahawks went 14-3 and three and won the division. Deacon, 39 and a half sacks. I'm not even bothering looking at picks anymore. Actually, four forced fumbles. We recovered three of them. Somehow only gained one yard. Another safety, no defensive touchdowns, no blocked kicks. I really want him to get a pick. I mean, this playbook has the plays where he drops back into coverage. I guess the AI just never does. We won 20-10, to and we're facing Dallas yet again. Same record this time, both 11-6. and six. Do we get our revenge? We do, 14-7, to seven, playing the division rival Seahawks. Alright, they are three wins better. To go to the Super Bowl, do we stop the Seahawks? 
we do not, we lose yet again. NFC Championship game, this time 24-9. No, the Broncos won 28-17, huh? Charles Crawford won MVP. Well, Super Bowl, Deacon won regular season. Is this the third straight year for Deacon winning MVP? Yeah, it is. I mean, I've just become, like, desensitized to his stats, but 39 and a half sacks is wild. Deacon's at 741, and we missed the playoffs at 7 and 10, because the rest of our division went 7 and 10. Deacon, 42 and a half sacks, let's go. Two forced fumbles, yeah, only one fumble recovery. You can only recover one fumble a year. Yeah, no touchdown safeties or blocked kicks. Let's just jump over and look at the, uh... The sacks record. 783. And he has to win MVP here, too. He had 42 and a half sacks. There's no way he doesn't. If he wins up getting 39 and a half sacks, he's definitely going to win. It. The Bills are back in the Super Bowl. Oh, the Bills won another Super Bowl. 23 to 17. Calvin Schumer. Yeah, Deacon won MVP again. Wait, fourth straight year. Let's go year 21. Yeah, this is his 21st year in the league. Pulling a Tom Brady out here. Yeah, Brady played in three decades. He played in the 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. Barely, but he did. That's like Jerry Rice. He played in the 80s, 90s, 2000s. Played decent way in the 2000s, too. He retired in 2003. Hey, 11 and 6, making the playoffs. Okay, apparently Seattle's just like the most formidable opponent ever. 41 sacks. Yeah, yet again, one fumble recovery. This time it was for 55 yards, though. And it was, uh, assuming, a fumble recovery for a touchdown. One safety, one defensive touchdown, no blocked kicks. Still averaging... If he just averages 40 per year, hopefully we can get this done in, like, three more max. Hey, they won 31-10 against Tampa Bay. Barely played attention, now we're playing Washington. They lost 31-21. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, yeah, MVP. I don't know what I expected, like, fifth, sixth year in a row. Hey, 8-24... Because most likely he gets like 39 to 45, somewhere in that range. So I'm safe to skip these two seasons and maybe a third, but play it safe the fourth because I want to see if I can capture his 1,000th sack. A 13 and 4. Make the playoffs. Actually get a bye, too. I don't know why this guy's above Deacon. Oh, he had more tackles. But 42 and a half sacks for Deacon again. Damn, this dude had 15 and a half, too. Yeah, one fumble. He actually blocked a kick and got two safeties and no defensive touchdowns. It's kind of weird. But whatever. I just said Sean McVay was the Patriots head coach. Washington again. <laughs> we love playing Washington, don't we? They lost 20... I'm pretty sure that was the exact same scoreline they beat us by last time. This time it was just in the divisional. Uh, Okay, they've been to two Super Bowls then. And Washington just won their seventh. Deacon is, I think, his seventh MVP in a row. We're almost there. We're in the home stretch of sacks. 867. Taking a while. There we go. 8 and 9, and we missed the playoffs. Damn. Hey, he only had 38 and a half sacks this year. Major decline. I got the triple crown over here. One forced fumble, one fumble recovery, one fumble return to yard. Oh, why I read this so weirdly. Hey, you got a safety, though. No defensive touchdown, no blocked kicks. 905 sacks. And they won again. Is that their third straight, or is that their. That's got to be their third straight. Yeah, because they beat the Raiders. Oh, no. Yeah, they did. Three straight Super Bowls for Washington. Three straight MVPs for Chuck Laffrey. They now have eight Super Bowls. And Deacon finally didn't win MVP. It was Chuck Laffrey. Laffrey? How do you even pronounce it? Whatever. He dethroned Deacon as the MVP champion. A 14-3 and three again. Uh, winning the division, at least. But the Raiders went 15-2. and two. Hey, the Bills suck at least, so if we make a deep playoff run, we don't have to worry about them. Deacon with 42 sacks this year. This time, no forced fumbles. Three safeties? That is weird. I've never seen like more than two, honestly. I think two is the highest I've ever seen, but whatever. Two safeties, or three safeties. Three safeties, no defensive touchdowns, no blocked kicks, 42 sacks. Pretty good season. Playing San Fran in the first round. Finished four... Four more wins than them. We won 23-17, barely. Playing 11-win Tampa Bay. We lost. We lose to the 11-win Buccaneers, 35-28. Ah, and it's a Buccaneers-Bengals Super Bowl. This team has just been disappointing season after season after season. 
Like, they're making deep runs every year to either the championship or the divisional, and they just fall flat on their face. And since he wins, wins the Super Bowl, 35-24. Uh, 947 career sacks. 28, I'm resetting his age. I'm not risking this. I'm just going to play it safe, reset his age. It doesn't change anything. I just don't want him to, like, up and retire for some reason at the age of 30. Because we are just actually right there. We just have to sim this season, and then next season he will break it. Like, the season after that. Because like I was trying to say before I had a slight panic attack over how old Deacon was getting, even if he gets 45 sacks, he will not uh, cross the 1,000 mark, and that's the most sacks he's gotten in his career is 45. So hopefully he doesn't break that. Just gets... I mean, I'm fine with 45. I just kind of like it lower this year, maybe 39, just so he can easily break it next season, and I won't miss it. Because I really do want to see him get his 1,000th sack. And then see if he wins anything after that, because I'll just sim the rest of that season and probably call it, because I could just keep going forever, or until the game's just like, no, nah, Chris Dale's too old, you have to retire. Okay, we're facing our mortal nemesis, Washington, again. But the Seahawks went 15-2, and two? what the hell? We went 10-7, and seven, barely making the playoffs. He only had 28 and a half. He had to have gotten injured. There's no way... I got, I got, like, happy because I, for some reason, looked at deflections and thought that was a pick. No, he just had a very down season. Oh, the, wait, no, that's interception return average. Yeah, he just had the worst season of his career, like, actually. He only had 28 and a half sacks. Yeah, 28 and a half is actually his lowest. His next lowest was 32 and a half. Wow. I honestly did not expect him to have his worst season. Oh no, his most is 47. What am I thinking? I thought he only had 45. Oh, we actually beat Washington 20 to 17. Now facing the 10 and 7 Vikings. They won 24 17. Now we're facing the 15 and 2 division rival Seahawks for a trip to the Super Bowl. I think they beat us last time. And I think they ended up losing to the Broncos in the Super Bowl. We're back in the Super Bowl against the Ravens. We won 28 7. Primal Kitchen? What? What, do I pay for that service to become, a, like, a hunter-gatherer? Sounds awful. <laughs> Buy our food delivery service, but you gotta hunt and gather for everything. We'll just tell you what to get. <laughs> we'll tell you what berries are safe to eat, and we'll just kill you. Uh, 976. I mean, he he's gonna break it next season, most likely. Because this was just, like, his statistically worst season he's had for some reason. I do need to loosen this back. Oh, he's just gone. I'm trying to fix my mic. And number three... Yep, that's a touchdown. Wow. Was that 46-yarder? I'm fixing my mic. I look up, and he's just gone to the house. Well, the Ravens strike first. Oh, he actually, like, could have maybe got the kick return if he didn't hesitate. What is wrong with their captain logos? It's, like, inverted. It's supposed to be white and yellow, not black and red. Maybe this would be another shootout like the first Super Bowl was. Another high-scoring game would be nice. It's to the end zone. Ooh, nice catch of him down at the two. Unless he's a tight end wearing number 19. I mean, oh, it doesn't matter because number 24, Mike Loud got in the end zone. Rams tied up. Ten minutes left in the first. Oh my god, he's off again. No way he broke a tack. What? Okay, he doesn't break three tackles. My god, Holcomb. Three carries, 99 yards, and a touchdown. Apparently, he's untackleable, too. He broke two tackles and almost a third. Ah, <sighs> why do I even speak? They got him to a third down. And then proceeded to let up a 20-yard passing touchdown. Ah, well, Baltimore, 14, Rams, 7. I'm going to the end zone, and it's caught. Let's go, 85. Clint Wilson. The dude who made that clutch catch to him at the two, setting up the rushing touchdown. Now getting a touchdown of his own. Rams 14, or Rams tie the game at 14. Why is he so open? And they're down at the six now. And that's just... <sighs> Tevin Walden. Pretty sure it's his second receiving touchdown of the game already. 21-14. Oh no, they're actually getting pressure. And he just gets sacked. Oh god. 
First defensive stop of the game. The Ram or the Ravens get a sack on third down. Yep, and the Rams are taking the field goal. Ooh, that's not looking good, considering their defense uh, has not looked the brightest. 24-14. No, not 24. God, I'm stupid. 21-17. The Ravens are up. Oh, no. He's got blocks. Oh, God. I still, still got 15-yard carry. I, I think I've just confidently learned that the Rams' run defense is just terrible. After the Bills running back that I can't remember the name of, he demolished them, and now Holcomb here. No way that was completed to an offensive lineman. I didn't say anything. No way he has three receptions. That's either the chonkiest tight end I've ever seen, or that's an O-lineman. Oh, and then that's his third... That's his third touchdown already. Walden has three touchdowns. Well, the Rams have quickly gone down 11 points now. 28-17. What's going to happen here? Okay, I think he's on a wheel route. I can't really see because I'm in Brock. There you go. Wow, look at that. You throw to your X-Factor receiver and he makes an X-Factor play. Oh, he almost got in the end zone. Getting down to the four. It's almost like when you use your best players, they perform. He wasn't at five. Make that six receptions. I mean, he's the... Mm, Loud's playing pretty good. I mean, the quarterback's playing good. It's just... He's been so dominant in the receiving game. I mean, it's pretty easy when you don't have a defender within 10 yards of you. And Baltimore... Or not Baltimore. Damn it. Why am I stuttering so much? The Rams strike back, making it 24-28. Oh my god. Deacon. <laughs> There you go, he may not get picks, but apparently he plays pretty damn well in coverage. It's the best corner play I've seen in any of the Super Bowls, actually. What the hell? Really, really, it's 3rd and 10, and you allow a 79-yard touchdown? Really? To Chuck Franklin on 3rd and 10? Oh my god. This is embarrassing. It's 35-24. It really, he had all that time and then he almost throws a pick six. But it turned into a touchdown because no one else is on that side of the field? What? Alright, I'm going to shut up. That's a 60-yard touchdown to Flanagan. I, that went from almost a pick to just a wild touchdown. Okay, it was just a weird... What is that anime? I've never seen that animation before. Whatever. And the Rams strike back quick. Let's just hope they don't allow the same thing to happen last drive. No. Please. Don't. There's got to be a safety back there. There's Okay, 43. Got stiff-armed. Oh my god. This is insane. It's like... The third, third down is just the kryptonite of this team. Okay, there we go. Second down. It's third and 11, so just logically, they're going to get a rushing touchdown here. Or just some wide receiver is going to be wide open for some reason. Yep, he's wide open. And now they're at the five. This defense is just honestly impressive with how consistent they are of giving up third downs. It, it's just truly impressive. It's the only way, like the only logical way I can think of that. Okay, I thought Holcomb got in, but apparently they did stop him. And they're taking their field goal. What? Okay, interesting call here. It's a real field goal. Yep, Baltimore goes up 38... Was it 38-35? Yeah, 38-35. Alright, he's actually open. Let's go. They converted the third down. That's good. Is he going to get the ball? No, Pink. Pink he's going to take off. He dives in the end zone and actually gets it. Trying to trying to recreate John Elway's helicopter play there. But this PAT, the game will be tied up at 38. The Rams somehow made that stop on fourth and goal at the one-yard line. Turn around and get a rushing touchdown. 209 rushing yards and a half is wild. Deacon! What? No way. He still got that pass off with Deacon in his face. Deacon even has the under pressure. He just... It wasn't oh I, oh no they don't even have the momentum for the like fearless thing. 
Oh, there you go, Deacon. Let's go. Deacon's first sack of the game. Forcing him. I assume they're still in field goal range. Yep. Baltimore's going to have to settle for a field goal, making it 41-38. to 38. Leaving the Rams with a two-minute warning, and they do get ball at half. I mean, if, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, I thought he was going to dive into the end zone. In... All right, there you go. Untouched. Mike Loud even wasted a few more seconds off the clock, just bouncing off the tight end there. Now the Rams, with 18 seconds left till half, go up 45-41, to 41, and they do get ball at half. So as long as Baltimore just doesn't complete a crazy Hail Mary or just run Hail Mary, get P.I., and take their field goal, the Rams are looking very good. I was about to say they're really running it with 18 seconds left, but then I remembered that we have the worst run and they're in field goal range. Wow. There was 18 seconds left on the clock. They ran one run play, got in a field goal range, called the timeout, and yep, they're down by one. 45-44 to 44 going to halftime because the Rams' run defense sucks ass. Wow, they... Oh my god, I... Okay, he Mike Loud is insane. What the hell was that play? I thought he didn't get it. I was about to say, wow, they didn't get it. That's fourth down. They're going to take a field goal. But Mike Loud had other ideas, breaking off of that tackle, bouncing to the outside, continuing to go. And he would have broke out of that other tackle. He stepped out of bounds. No. Oh. Oh, he's taken off again, and he's just untouched in the end zone. His second rushing touchdown of the day. Dion Pinkston. And the Rams with two... The Rams with that amazing miracle third and one play actually end up scoring a touchdown going up 52-44. Oh, Deacon got through. He got his second sack of the game too. Let's go. Second and 18. Deacon's in his X-Factor, which means he's going to lose it this play. Yep. And De just like that, Deacon's out of his X-Factor. He already lost it. I think there was that one game, I guess it was in the Super Bowl. Maybe the second one, or the first. No, it would have had to have been the second one, where he kept it for like two or three plays. No way. Okay, I was going to say there's no way. Who's John Codwell? Oh, one of our guys. Well, damn. I was going to say there's no way that... That man gets his, like, fourth of the game. Because I'm pretty sure he has three. Walden may have four. Well, I opened my mouth, didn't I? It's either his fourth or fifth. I've lost count at this point. They are going for two to try and tie the game. If, I, if I'm the Rams, I'm just sending everyone on Walden. Wow. Okay, just like that, it's a tie game, 52-52. Pinkston trying to get his third rushing touchdown of the day. He will, because 54 is not going to... Wow, okay. One, the dive was too unnecessary. And two, I don't know how Hickman reacted that fast, because usually linebackers just stare at the quarterback and let him walk right into the end zone. That dive was so unnecessary. Hey, he's, uh... Oh, I thought it was the... Oh, his name is Lance Flanagan. I thought it was Logan. Whatever. Rams go up 59-52. Uh, if, like, 46 had the pick, but he dropped it. You can just not, like, throw an interception on arcade mode. It's actually impossible. I think we've seen that. They apparently throw ones when you're simulating. Because we've seen the quarterbacks throw picks. But if you're watching the game, they're never going to throw an interception. Dude, they cannot cover him. I wonder how he's not in his X-Factor. Come on, stop him. Don't let him roll out. Deacon's not on the field. Actually. Oh, no, he was in coverage. Deacon just got a sack when he dropped back into coverage. Wow. I don't know if that shows how good he is or how uh, bad the rest of the D-line is that they could not get to him. I'm not even going to say it, but we, we both know what's going to happen this play. We both know very well what is going to happen. Yep. <laughs> it's just wild. Third down, third and goal, it doesn't matter. It's just... It's truly, 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 truly impressive. that They just cannot get a stop on third down. 59 to 59. 
Loud got stuck on number 60. But it doesn't matter because... Oh, he... Oh, I thought he was going to break it for even more. Wilson is crazy. I think he's the best receiver we've seen. I mean, Larry Harper, I think. They do that was the X Factor from the first two Super Bowls. Maybe he was on the third. He was very good. I think, though, Wilson's a little bit better. There's number 12, the fake Van Jefferson, breaking a tackle. Getting down to the 20. No, Pinkston. Oh, God, he fumbled. Okay, the offensive lineman fell on it. That got scary. That was very scary. But at least that lineman dove on it and didn't pull a Cam Newton and just stare at it. That's good. All right, Pinkston, just don't do that again. He's stepping up. I think he already crossed the line of scrimmage, maybe? Really? That's when you throw it away. When you can just run and get, get make the field goal closer. I mean, I'm assuming he has the range, but you could have made the field goal so much closer for him. Maybe even got a first down, broken a tackle, dove for it. No, you just throw it away. But the last play, you just get a strip sack. Don't even attempt to throw it away. At least they made it. Rams go up 62-59. Speaking of X-Factor tight ends, I don't think ours has had a single reception. Maybe one. Oh my god, this again. Oh, you know, Wagner is 88 the tight end. Oh, that's another pick, but just for some reason you can't get picks. The AI cannot throw picks. That's the second dropped interception we've had. That's so unfortunate. I saw it go into Walton and I got scared. And I guess it doesn't matter because, oh, there's Holcomb. Got his first receiving touchdown of the game. Now the Ravens are up 66 to 62. There's no way they didn't pick it up. It's fourth and inches. I mean, they go for it here, right? Really? Your offense... Or, my bad, your defense has not been able to stop them once. They've just held them to two field goals. And on fourth and inches, I mean, yes, you're on your own side of the field... But it's the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl, and you're down uh, a touchdown. I think you need to take some risk here. That is a lie and a half. They have the best rushing defense in the league. That is just a straight-up lie. Will Deacon avenge him and get a sack? No. They almost give it up. 43, Lowry with a lucky swat. All right, they force him to punt. The first time, yeah, the first time Baltimore's offense has actually been stopped. I mean, they were held to two field goals and that one field goal before half. Other than that, they've scored on every drive. Those were the first two punts of the game, actually. On back-to-back -back drives, too. I also should have... Oh, my God. Staring at the sideline again. Oh, if he... Maybe if you didn't stare at the sideline, that could have been a complete pass. Really? On third and ten, down four, what you call is another run play after the previous one went for zero. They're going for this, though? Not taking their three points to make it a one-point game? Really? I mean, it worked out, but I don't really understand the decision-making. Pinkston was just moving really weird. There you go, Mike Well, diving in the end zone. Putting the momentum all the way back in the Rams' favor. 69-66, to 66, the Rams take the lead back. All right, boys, we uh, kind of need to stop here. Time's getting extremely low. They've wasted about five minutes off of the clock. You guys stood at the one-yard line. You just have to stand at the three, make it a tie game, and drive down the field. It is a run. And he's just untouched. Really? Austin Clark. It was third and goal from the three. All you had to do was tackle him. They take the field goal, tie it up. Now they're down 73 to 69. I mean, they have all three timeouts and the two minute warning. A minute 53 or a minute 54, all three timeouts left. But the AI is pretty stupid when it comes to timeouts. Oh, there's Wilson. Get the block. All right, Wilson's down to the 27. Taking the check down, getting to the 22. Not too bad, not too bad. Still in no huddle. Most likely going to use the timeout after this play. He just cannot get sacked here, Pinkston. He takes off. Really? Really? I could... Oh, my God. He just had to go down. 
He could have just fell, he could have slid, hell, he could have dove, but what he does is just runs right into both of them and fumbles. Potentially fumbles the game away. I mean, they still have all three timeouts, it's just looking extremely unlikely. I think that's game right there, because they only need one yard. Yeah, that injury timeout just cost them too, yeah, that's game. Pinkston fumbled the game away. Yep, there it is. Wow, the Rams lose yet another Super Bowl. This is wild. I mean, no fault to Deacon. Yeah, that's... Wow, the Rams are now, what, 2-2? Two and two? They won the first two, have lost the last two? That is a depressing way to lose. Pinkston just should have went down. He played so good, too. He had 623 passing yards, four touchdowns. For some reason, though, he just decided to not dive or slide or do anything and fumbled the game away. Please tell me he didn't. Okay, he's 995. I'm just going to take that. He's five sacks away. And hopefully, in this game, against the Indianapolis Colts, Deacon will be able to break the one thousand sack record i don't know what the hell i'm talking about record the record was 200 i'm gonna see if deacon gets four and then i'm gonna take over for his fifth because i want to get the final sack this is a prime time game yep, sunday night prime time wow on sunday night prime time deacon can break 1000 career sacks wow <laughs> their home field advantage is home team gains more momentum on defensive stops yeah that's a terrible uh home field advantage for them Oh, Deacon got through. Oh, and he got the strip sack, too. And he recovered it as well. Let's go. There we go. Touchdown to Dalton Barker. I don't think... Like, in the sim, I'm pretty sure the last time I watched a regular season game was... It was Deacon's first ever game, so probably over... Well, it's 2049, so... Yeah, about 26 years... 26 years ago was the last time I watched a regular season game. Well, the team finally got a fourth down stop. Too bad it was in a regular season game. There you go, up 7-3. Well, that was a dot to Wilson, actually. Too bad he just couldn't outrun the DB. He's 8 for 8, 80 and a touchdown. Oh, touchdown. He's finally utilizing the tight end, Stoudemire. Dalvin Stoudemire. That might be his first or second catch. That I've seen in the past hour and a half that I've been watching these games. All right, Mike Loud, what a stiff arm for a 25-yard rushing touchdown. I was gonna be quiet and just cut to the defense when Deacon's back on there because that's all we, all we really care about. But I could not ignore that play. Why is Deacon only lining up at DT now? I guess it's just the plays they're calling. It's not working. Also, that coverage is not working. I don't know why Gary Davidson was so open. Whatever. They have an 11-point win. Or, <laughs> an 11-point lead. I'm tired, man. Alright, another just like... <laughs> I was about to say untouched. Another stiff arm rushing touchdown from Mike Loud. <laughs> Let's go, Deacon. I was looking away for a second. He is now three sacks away from 1,000. He's in his X-Factor. Will he lose it instantly or will he get another sack? Uh, he didn't lose it instantly. Colts settling for a field goal. Rams go up 28-13. Oh On all three of his touchdowns, he's gotten at least one stiff arm. It's insane. There he is. And let's go, he actually got it. Third sack of the day. And I'm pretty sure two away from 1K. Forcing the Colts to take a pretty long field goal. And it's good. 35-16. He's... <laughs> yeah, I think he's gotten every... Oh no, he's not gotten every touchdown. But that's his fourth. Three rushing, one receiving. Is the AI gonna call a play or just call their time? Okay, they're calling their... That's why, all right. This Rams defense is pitiful. That that was 
That was almost as bad. No, that was actually worse than the one that happened in the Super Bowl. Because the Colts just scored a touchdown off of that. At least they held Baltimore to a field goal, only because the time was low enough. Oh, what, what happened? I was looking away and they got a 40-yard touchdown. Man, I just need to actually, like, watch the game. When I look away, insane stuff happens. Like a 40-yard passing touchdown. I assume. I don't know. I just look up and Wilson's just in the end zone. Colts settle for three. Still down 16. That's not how math works. They're down 13. So, of course, now, like, I kind of want the Colts offense to be moving so that Deacon gets more chances to get sacks. And, of course, that's when our defense decides to swat everything and actually learn how to play pass coverage. That somehow worked. He just rolled out, made that busted play into a touchdown for Patterson. Wow, what a pass. Right to Marvin Bradley. Oh, at least <laughs> he's back in the game and he got another rushing touchdown. I think that's Mike Loud's four. I think, that, yeah, that's Loud's fourth on the day. He has four rushing, one receiving. I'm pretty sure. That was his first uh, rushing touchdown where he didn't get a nice stiff arm. Oh, Deacon got through. No! He actually hit the... Oh, he got the hit on the quarterback, but he just got it off. How are you going to deny Deacon his 999th sack? And they don't score, but they're most likely just going to run it in. And the Rams are just going to chew clock. Yep. <sighs> I mean, they could get the onside, assuming they go for it. Deacon's been so close, like, the, the entire second half to getting one. Well, more than one. He got passed again. Here it is. That's his 999th sack right there. And just like with Deacon's first sack of his career, I am going to be the one to get him across the gap to get his 1,000th sack. So I will be usering him. And let's see if I can get it. Nope, I'm double teamed. Oh, I got pushed to the dirt. Let him get it? Aw, oh, damn. I'm going to get a run. I'm going to get a run with Mike Loud. Why not? Get Deacon back on the field. He needs his 1,000th sack. He is short out elite. Really? All right. There you go, got a stiff arm for him. Only slightly cheating by using him. He's good enough, it doesn't matter, he would have got that anyway. I just don't want the Rams to chew clock and deprive Deacon of his 1,000th career sack. Deacon's out of his X-Factor, but that doesn't matter! Come here, please! No, I ran around him! Wait, I think that's half a sack. Don't tell me that's his 990... 999th and a half sack. What does that count as? I'm actually really curious now. I think it's half a sack. I think I just got half a sack. Yep. Oh my god. I couldn't get the clean 1,000. It's He has 999 and a half sacks. Well, it would have been nice to have the clean 1,000 out of this game. He was going to get sacks after this game, so it doesn't matter that I didn't get his 1,000 sack there and got his 999th and a half sack. I'm not in pain or sad at all that I've sat here for the past hour watching this game waiting for the moment to get his a thousand sack and it just is that i can't i screwed it up too because i ran around him i got way too happy i did it again wait i think that counts as a sack actually if that is that is the most underwhelming way did that count he should have five and a half now if that counted as a sack and it did wow that is how he breaks his 1,000th sack, is me, like an absolute idiot, running around the quarterback, chasing him down just before he passes the line of scrimmage, and getting a strip sack. What a way to reach 1,000 career sacks for the man, the myth, the legend in 26 years. Wow, I can't believe I got half a sack because I ran around him and I did the same thing. I just, like, saw red and wanted the quarterback. And I know I only mentioned it about 1,000 times during this game, he did it. Deacon got his 1,000th career sack. I guess technically 1,000th. 1,000th and a half sack on Sunday night primetime. There it is. 1,001 
Deacon Jones, the first ever player, and I'm going to go ahead and say it, a wild uh, claim here, the only player to ever surpass a thousand sacks. They made the playoffs, 9-8. and eight. They win 17-10 against Minnesota, now up against San- the 14-3 and three Niners, what happened? They lost by th- a field goal, 24-21 to San Fran in the last season of this. That's kind of sad, honestly. I would have loved to have seen Deacon go out with a Super Bowl. He ended up going, what, 2-3 and because he won the first two, then lost the next three Super Bowls. Yeah, I was just tripping. He, he didn't even... Where the hell did I pull that one Super Bowl that he was in from? I just made that up and said he was in a Super Bowl. It was the Titans, the Bills. He won the first two, lost against the Bills, and lost to the Ravens, yeah. Because there's his first Super Bowl. Then he didn't make it all these years. There's the second one. Then, yeah, two years later, he lost... To Buffalo. Didn't make it a few years again. Actually, this was their streak of just like constantly losing. And they made it this year and lost. Yeah, so they were 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, whatever. 2-2 two and is not terrible. He at least won them. Didn't win Super Bowl MVP, but I don't think that matters with the amount of MVPs this man won. I'm going to look at his season stats real quick. 38 sacks this season. 28 TFLs, 2 forced fumbles, 1 fumble recovery. And no touchdowns, block kicks, or safeties, or anything like that. So in his career, Deacon had 3,009 total tackles, 728 TFLs, 1,014 sacks, one interception, which was a pick six, which was a user in his first ever game, and the only one of his career kind of surprised about. Just, he played 26 years and is a 99 in everything, deflected 22 passes, Forced 46 fumbles, recovered 24, had 3 blocked kicks, 16 safeties, 5 defensive touchdowns, and played in 452 games. I wish you just, like, I don't understand why it doesn't tally up MVPs. Like, every MVP and Defensive Player of the Year is separate. But, like, sacks leaders, tackle leader, Pro Bowl is all just grouped into one. Deacon had 15 Pro Bowl appearances. He led the leagues in uh, sacks all 26 years, not surprising. Let it in tackles once, won all these best defensive linemen. And since this game sucks, I have to count up every MVP. I'm pretty sure he won 26 Defensive Player of the Years. I'm not going to count all of them. I'm just going to count the MVPs, and there's one. Okay, after some quick math, Deacon ended up with 13 MVPs, and I didn't have to count them. He won 26 Defensive Player of the Years, and one defensive best defensive lineman. That's a useless stat, but he won that most of the time, if not 26 straight years this was a pretty fun journey besides the heartbreaking super bowl losses now, this was fun and i might do this again with either interceptions or passing yards if i do it'll probably just be a hundred picks because i don't i i like to think i'm pretty resilient and i can just stick to stuff no matter what i'll just get through it eventually through brute force but i don't even think i would have the patience or resilience to try and get a thousand interceptions in a career I'd most likely just do 100, maybe 100,000 passing yards too. And shout out to Deacon, one of, if not the greatest defensive players in NFL history.